Baby, welcome to the party. Give me a P. Give me a D. Hey guys, it's your favorite ladies coming back at y'all with another episode of Petty Party Podcast. It's your girl Amakalette coming out the set. What's good? Hey y'all, it's your girl Crystal, aka Champagne Chris, aka Chrissy F. Baby, please say the baby. Hey guys, it's your girl Jory Alia. Hey y'all, it's your girl Michelle, aka Egypt if you nasty. Hey everyone, it's Jess Nick and Welcome to our Galentine's episode. Okay, hey, hey, y'all. You know, early today. Yeah. No, for real, like slumber port. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's a vibe. I, we got the little rose petals. Everyone's in their pajamas. So I feel like this is going to be a great episode. Yeah, it's, it's getting pretty in pink. No, yeah. Right. Which, speaking pink of, party. y'all, the girls, I feel like it's going to do it down this Valentine's Day because finding pajamas was so hard. hard. Like, everything yeah. was sold yeah. out. Yeah. And I was just like, what I literally like, I need to see flowers, rose petals, <laughs> chocolates, no gifts, fine. everything on the right. timeline because y'all did y'all's big one. But it makes me wonder sure. like are there have are they hosting more Galentine's this year? It means no we're bad. All, more Valentine's. Oh, no yeah. bad. Like, but you know what? No, but you know what the crazy part is? I think that which we might get into later, but I definitely think that Galentine's is not just for single women. Like it's yeah, just I agree. Yeah. it's yeah. just for like Friends, Girl, yeah, right. exactly. Okay, and cool. I, like, it's always okay. a fun aspect. I'm glad like, y'all clarified yeah. that. No guys, I was, I was you know? a single girl club. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I really did think that, like so. a sad girl club. I mean, you no, you remember? Know. Just because you're single, you're not a sad girl. I'm just saying, I thought it was like a singles girl thing. Like no. you don't have a Valentine's, you have a Galentine's. Like y'all come together and just uh, celebrate each other in love. So. Mm, no, no, it's a friend yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just friends. Like like that's how I assumed. I think every holiday is coming that they have like a friendsgiving. There's friends in the now. Now there's Galentine's. It's just about pouring into the people that you love. Like it doesn't have to be like. Only yeah. a significant because they definitely on Twitter trolling talking about it's for the single girls. There's nothing stopping y'all from y'all starting y'all own things. Yeah, it's called jealousy. Man. Yeah, jealousy. Because I don't. I, men definitely get together and do stuff, but the way women do, like we talking about decorations, food. Yeah, y'all not doing yeah, that. Y'all linking up top. together and having some times, but y'all not going the extra mile that we yeah, go. So right. it's a different. Y'all got Super Bowl. Sure. That's what they got. Oh yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. And Afcon. Uh, Afcon. Uh, no, for Afcon, real. Yeah, literally. Shout out to the Super Eagles, Nigel. Go What's Super Eagles. Go. <laughs> Good, no, I'm not gonna y'all. lie. The way we gloated, y'all, we better come with it. No, all honest, because that's gonna, so so that's gonna be so embarrassing. That's gonna be so embarrassing. Africa has been so no. humble. No, look, okay. they walk but quietly. Walk back celebrate. in. It's fine. Let us celebrate. It's cool. We gonna come out on top Man. no matter what. Win Chris, or I was lose, gonna ask because so. you have Ivory Coast in your family now, right? Yeah. Sure do. What's, what's happening over there? <laughs> Quiet and humble. That's what I'm saying. Right. Quiet and humble. I have heard one thing. I mean, they said like, "Oh, hooray!" But it's like not like what we were doing. No, we were saying we said that I'm a piano now. Our, our piano. You guys are very proud people. So listen, we're always going to do that. Like, that's Bro. just what we do. I'm sorry. They, they said shout out to Twyla, blood. the youngest Nigerian Grammy winner. I'm like, <laughs> y'all are the Grammy is now ours. Like, <laughs> I'm a piano. Yikes. But yeah, no, he's quiet. He, I, I was like, look, whenever you're ready to come, you know, to Nigerian side, just let me know. He was like, never. <laughs> Tell him he has quiet. one chance or he got to say him. Him. And I put right. the snatch, uh, snatch necklace gift because <laughs> I'm screaming. You need to take the opportunity. I bet. Now, again, I hope we don't lose. Child. Oof. That's gonna be so embarrassing. Gonna gonna be be so I have faith in us, honestly. I do. Every nation really will rise against us to no, roast Every us. nation. <laughs> you know, they even started, they put a poll on Twitter talking about who has the most um, stable electricity. I'm like, oh, y'all taking it to hell. That's and Nigeria was crazy. not on the list. In Africa, in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Nigeria was not on That's the list. I was like, oh, y'all are taking it to hell. <laughs> like, okay, it's then. cool. When we win, we'll see who has the most electricity. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's like calling someone a monkey, pretty much. Okay. Like, why are you coming for our infrastructure? That's Damn. why. Damn. Damn. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our moto. And this one is, huh, I, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Okay. So I'm a side piece for Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And okay, he got mad because I text him, if I don't get my hush money by February 14th. You're a side piece? I'm That's running not a side my- piece. <laughs> I mean, no, it, it is. is a side piece. That's what side pieces do. <laughs> yeah. um, pay up, buddy. Yeah. Um, not here for free. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't Keep get going, my please. hush money by February 14th, I'm running my mouth. Oh. And I will run my mouth <laughs> about his ass. I better get my 10K. Since he oh claims he may be busy after Valentine's Day, which is the day I'm Shit. supposed to go out with him, I'm so pissed at him and he's mad about me keeping options and sleeping around and flirting with his friend on Twitter. 
Well, men are so stupid. He's been sending me money through Cash App, and now he's acting like he can't. I'm sending pictures and everything to his girlfriend who, if he doesn't Hi. give me my money. So you're gonna am I wrong? Him. Huh? Um. Okay. So yeah. that yes. changes the narrative a little bit. Um. Are I think so. Wrong? She's definitely wrong. You. It, okay. I got the impression that like you never been paid. He's been giving you money <laughs> and just the. I mean, I get it. Valentine's Day, but it's like, girl, like. Yeah. your expectations are way too way high too like high. you honestly have gotten enough to me you've gotten more than most and um but not only that i just think you're, you're gonna extort your him L. like that's crazy but like, that's so selfish too like that's 10k you're now cutting K. into her valentine's day budget <laughs> yeah, like, like that's crazy. if he gives you 10k what type of valentine's well, day is she what? supposed to have 10k he's probably can afford it so yeah. i don't know if it's gonna cut into the other girl's budget but you're wrong just because you greedy girl like come nah, down Crystal, nah nah the thing that's is, why he's not trying to give it up he can't actually, afford to do that's that. not even why I feel <laughs> he like can't she, afford to do both he has not been even getting her 10k i don't believe i feel like she upped the score when she found <laughs> she out did. that there's he's, no valentine's day yeah, plan so no, said, all right, right cool 10k or i'm gonna extort you so which no. one you want i feel 10K like or extortion. she's wrong specifically because I don't. I just feel like you sending the. He said. She said the wife or the girlfriend. Girlfriend. But it's just like, why are you bring her into this? Like, oh, it's God. him. That's what I feel like. It's just going to other women and like, unless you have like, you know, you want to nicely ask them some questions. Like, it's just, it's just messy, bro. And like, why are you gonna do that to a girl on Valentine's Day? Like, you're an op. You're a fucking op. You're not a girl's girl. I can't. It doesn't even matter. It's like I blame the man though. That's what I'm saying. Because like, it's like, sure. why is your hoes not in order around exactly. holidays? Like, like, why I, are no, no, no real talk no, though. That's you, you don't got your business in order because but, there is no way there's no reason why this girl feels like she can extort you that is crazy Valentine's Day. But I'll be honest but, you, that's it, crazy to me oh no 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 you gotta cut her off immediately Valentine's Day, yeah. and you gotta have to cut your girlfriend off too cause you gonna lose both like yeah. these type of situations you have a wife. <laughs> It's these type of situations Done. where it's like now he's gonna tell his girlfriend and Definitely. now you're not getting shit because we no, have seen facts. that time and time again what, yeah. when girls get to extorting niggas mm, tell on themselves yeah. you're and, not worth that. 10K and he won't boo. even probably tell it correctly. He'll make up a story and make yeah. you look dumb yeah. for and sure. Then you get yeah, nothing ever again. He's gonna be like, I have a stalker. She's been mm. photoshopping pictures of. <laughs> and then before you know it, his girlfriend over here got a <laughs> gang of girls trying to jump you <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, I, pull it play your part. I was hacked. So <laughs> play your part. I like you know what the crazy part is. <laughs> I feel like in this situation, I know we want to blame the man, but I actually blame this woman a lot because hey, she's, she's she willingly, she's, up for she's willingly like a side. He gave piece. her room to do that, mm, but yeah. he did. But she's willingly a side piece, and so I feel like when you willingly become a side piece, you kind of know what you're signing up for, and it can't be now that like a love holiday comes mm. around he's not a be able to be available to you that you now want to extort him and like ruin the other girl's right. holiday. Like mm -hmm. that's crazy. I think there's tears to being a side piece. And I feel like she may be on level three and like they probably he's probably done this before that's why she has that type of expectation. Is he a politician? Like, what kind of side piece? Girl, he is probably is crazy. a regular dude Is he just catching plays. If, he's a, if, if I'm asking a nigga for 10K because he got it. Let's yeah. Be for Crystal, a okay. A lot of these girls are taking notes off TikTok and stuff like that. Okay? <laughs> the thing and is, asking for the money they don't have. Some girls got. are but, <laughs> right. Yeah, no, some girls are doing it. He jobs a band, yeah, he got it. No, yeah, oh, no girl, no, ma'am. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop I think playing. when people like go to that extent you want to be the main and to me that's crazy i would never take a man seriously who had me as a side bitch because the same thing he doing with you with her to you he gonna do to you right. with her and this reminds me i can't think of his name but the dude who plays for the pelicans when he was dating that one girl who's like a stripper or whatever yes. yes and was yeah. giving her all that money and then she got oh, mad Zion. and out at him yes so yeah. it's kind of just like that's literally what this reminds me of and it's like it it never ends well it doesn't it never ends it well and is it the same or is that the baseball remember that baseball player oh, too yes. like Anderson, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson that's a little different that's different yeah. cause he got a whole woman he has a wife yeah. his wife. he has a wife, but, and he, he has a wife he was talking but the side crazy. piece is still like, like holding him down yeah, yeah like, like she and then she's like throwing shade at the wife and the mm -hmm. wife also holding him down the wife, the wife is pregnant, pregnant now the wife's and pregnant. she outed her she outed the wife's pregnancy so y'all still talking after all that yeah. because Ugh. how does she know that your wife is pregnant that's cool why I, I'm not gonna lie. See, you men don't know how to play. It's like these new age men, y'all don't know how to play the game. Y'all no. are literally treating your you're treating your main girl like a side piece. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Playing the game, the they know how to play the game. That's don't. why his wife and his side chick is still there. These but the women don't know how to leave. It's not supposed yeah. to bleed into each other, y'all. They're not playing the game. But the Jacquees and Dreezy situation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's crazy. but in regards I, to Anderson, crazy, you know. like we don't have to bring them. In. That's a sticky. <laughs> no, we don't. That's a sticky situation. But that wife's not leaving. Like I feel I, like the the wife, wife is literally as a wife shouldn't. Yeah, the wife. I feel like I she, mean she's still getting um, hella embarrassed, but she's on some. Until this man leaves me, I'm never leaving him. So you can have him. Mm -hmm. So. 
That's why I she's pregnant again. Know, we don't know their situation, but you know, baseball yeah. and PR, they have, they're have they very yeah. strict with the players and their public image. So mm-hmm. probably know they're separated or doing their thing yeah. and all that. But I feel like for her, she's like, you're not going to ruin the image that she, we have. She's not they were still separated. Separate if she's newly pregnant. I feel like that was a get back baby. Having kids. They still gotta have, they still have get back sex. We're having <laughs> like back children. Y'all, whoa. We like they is still crazy ha- but, And I'm just saying, like, that's a thing. Yeah. Like, hey. I'm sorry. I'm that, tired of Nina. That, that, that's that's I'm tired of Nina. That's they was going baby for baby. Yeah, they were. Like, please. Y'all, y'all it's not how new. crazy that sounds. It is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's very crazy. Y'all like, back children. When Tara was pregnant on that stage and Amina said, actually, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant too. Y'all, you thought you did your big one. Y'all are both athletes. That clip resurfaced when she was like, I'm his wife and Tara was with the shit. She slept the shit out of her right after that. I was just like, oh my. But I mean, Tara, really Tara going Tara back behind no, Peter Tara Guns. Had, Tara had no Peter right to guns. slap her though because was she lying though? Like She I, wasn't lying. I'm not going to lie. She, she came he with receipts every time. She said, I'm his wife and Thank I said, you. oh. Like he did not want to marry name. you. I won. You lose. <laughs> no, but imagine <laughs> dating somebody for 10 years. Imagine. And then they get married and you don't even know. And you have and, your baby daddy of four kids. And he gets a side chick and marries her? Because you didn't know that the entire time you were the side chick and he had a, a main chick. It no, wasn't you. You know what? Fear I'm going to be tired to come back and no, say, no, say, no, say, no, say what she like does. Fear, fear men, men. Honestly. <laughs> that's that's all you can story, do. Fear cause, men. Because yeah, no, yeah. the stories that I hear that men... It's crazy. Of men... When you think there's no way, there's a way. There's a way. Yeah, there's a way. Like, mm-mm. Certain games no, they play, it's just like, wow, like... Mm-hmm. Oh my God, like... Yeah, sorry. I heard a story recently. I was just kind of like... Men are fucking ruthless. Like, they don't care. Like, they don't. they're animals. Happy Galentine's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. We're going in. Not mm-hmm. back. I mean, yeah, sorry. I mean, when are we not? Um, Moving on, though. Oh, she's <laughs> Well, um, okay, so. Y'all, okay, I'm actually going to tell, like, a story from a while ago. Story time. Story, story. Sorry, sorry. Time, time. <laughs> but, okay, y'all, so this is a couple of years ago, and um, I had a Valentine's, and and it's so crazy because I still don't even consider this a Valentine's. Like, I still feel like I've never really had, like, a solid Valentine's, mm-hmm. but whatever. It was just Same one of those sense. things when you were younger Same. that didn't really count. <laughs> Anyways, we went out to a restaurant. It was a nice restaurant, actually, and... Um, I know, it was very it was a very fresh situation so I feel like you know we were kind of jumping skips ahead but anyways we went beautiful restaurant ambiance was cool everything was cool all of a sudden like you know he gets up and he talks to the <clears throat> the waiter but I didn't think nothing of it <laughs> and then and then um, a couple minutes later at the end a uh, dessert comes and it's like a plate and it says will you be my girlfriend y'all like <laughs> I was so like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what to do. I don't know if I've even told the story before, but I didn't know what to do. Like, the whole, like, not the whole restaurant, but everybody that was sitting next to us was literally staring, like, well, girl, what you gonna do? And I just was like, Ugh. like, I had to say yes because, like, I don't wanna embarrass him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah, I had to break it off because I just was like, damn, like, how long you did, did you wait f- to break it off? I think, like, a week. A week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a week. Mm-hmm. Because, well, because. <laughs> Because of the circumstances that I, I can't would have to tell you, like, up. right, we got in the car, like, hey, look. <laughs> it would have been awkward. Like, it was just down awkward. Like, it was just so <laughs> awkward. And it's just, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, though. Like, great guy. Like, I think, you know, I just feel like it just, it was just too soon. Like, you know what I mean? Like, two, it was literally two weeks in. So I'm just yeah. like, damn, like, I am not used to it. Some girls are like, they like the fast pace. Yeah, I'm not that girl. Like, slow. I am not that girl at all. So it just was like, it was just, I don't know, it just felt like. It was a lot for me. And I, I, on top of that, I don't like attention. So everybody was literally staring at me. And I thought I could just get away with just smiling and looking cute. Some girl was like, okay, so what you gonna do, girl? And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like, well, yeah, now I have to answer. They want to hear the answer out yeah, loud on camera. Yeah, I have to answer. Yeah, but Damn. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I was petty for the whole breakup. But yeah, like, that's No, what that's not petty. No, you, that was actually, well, I, I, petty I, was I think you were petty yes. waiting a week. I think you were, petty. Moment, think you were petty for saying yes. In the moment. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. And no, I no, only no, say that no, that can ruin a man for like you, no. And I think that it could be not even, forever, but like ruin him. I like, think it could be even worse confident. to just like you think you have a girlfriend and then no, we can go in the car. Never had one the entire time. No, but you can go in the car and just be like, hey, like, what if he went and I, told his parents that like, he was in a relationship? That's on you. Yeah, I think but he did. what I'm, I control. Oh, you think he did? I the woman controls <laughs> the narrative sometimes, and it's like we're gonna go in the car. 
And I'm going to have to politely tell you, hey, look, I appreciate the grand gesture, but I just, I'm not ready for this with you. And well, I just didn't want to say it in there to like, you know, I'm still want to honor you here, but it's like, I am not trying to be your I girlfriend I also think now. I was very overwhelmed by it. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Like in the moment, you like I truly it. didn't know what to do. And I remember texting my friends like, y'all, what do I do? Like, what do I do? Because I just, it was just a lot. And like, for me, I'm a type of person, like I need to process like what's going on. Mm-hmm. And like, I will say like, even after that day, like it wasn't just like, okay, well, you know, this is overwhelming. Let me cut it off. Like I had to give it time to say like, okay, Chris, can you really do this? Like, and I, just, I don't think I could. So, so like, that's why I waited that week. But like, maybe I should ask this question. So like moments leading up to that, like, was he not doing like the things that you liked? Like, it doesn't matter. It had been two weeks. So I'm, no, but I'm just yeah. saying though, like, I'm just, cause I'm not going to lie. Like, and that was, you know, sometimes you can just get tricked into like, not tricked, but like, you're like, dang, you know what? But that's why I think it's important. Like, like you said, y'all have only been knowing each other two weeks before. No, that. we knew We're each other for a long time. But, but dating for two weeks. That's the reason why you gotta be careful about is, who you go I on even, Valentine's dating is loose dates with. with. Yeah, that's what I'm sometimes yeah. that, that's like a no, blur line. Yeah. But not even. I think that was very manipulative. I'm not gonna lie. Asking somebody a question in public, yeah. without like y'all having a conversation beforehand yeah. or gauging how the person actually like, feels it, about like answering, he never was it's manipulative. Because like how, how could Crystal say no in that moment? Even exactly. if she wanted to. But no, but like he never like no because like, it was that a fresh situation. Like, and and oh. to be honest, to be honest, we did have the conversation in general. Not not like probably within that two weeks. I told him I'm just I'm just not really in that space. Oh, so he yeah. thought that grand gesture would change yeah. your mind. Yeah. And nah. the thing is, not yeah. in the grand the gesture. He yeah. felt like in a public room she wasn't gonna say no yeah. and, so. I, and I don't like that like I don't like being like and again great guy like I just feel like I just don't like being if there's a better word for it manipulated into situations yeah. like that because it's happened to me before but it's just like yeah. dang like you put me in a position and my like back is against the wall you. yeah mm-hmm. and like it's like I, I don't want to embarrass you and mm-hmm. I don't want to like this, and it was beautiful like it was it, I'm pr- that's probably one of the nicest things somebody's done for me yeah. like beautiful presentation and the fact that he came from out of town and had that put together I was just like wow like out you know town? but mm-hmm, I'm but, out of town but, 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 but yeah no honestly yeah like me I don't think you were in petty entirely <laughs> I think maybe petty waiting a week I would have just said it in the car I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie because it's like I don't want you to go to sleep thinking that we're together I think he was petty mm-hmm. yeah I don't want. I don't, to, I don't want to go to sleep thinking you think we're together because we're not. You know what I mean? Like I need to break <laughs> no that facts. image. Sleeping so your nicely mind. on your yeah, like, like mm, I got that's girl, my girl. But, like no. I think <laughs> like, mm. when you're in situations though, like <laughs> when you're in situations though, you want to kind of keep the peace. And like she said, he came from out of town, so to tell somebody immediately afterwards, like oh no, like that was gonna make you brought you her t- yourself. It can be a very dangerous situation. Men are dangerous. But you know I mean, what I mean? So I'm in to get in the car with him. Yeah, you know, exactly. So that's what I'm it saying. Why like, are we protecting the man so much? Like, he put her in a weird position, too. Like, sorry. Like, you can't do that to people. Because you said you would say yes and then tell him no after the fact. So yeah. what's the difference of you telling in him private, right? I would yeah. never tell someone. Imagine cameras. That's going to be on Shade Room and all that stuff. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got to read the Shade Room. Room. No, I was referring you to you. I'm just saying, like, I was refer- things go viral. When people, a woman said no when a thing is No, Valentine's I would never day. turn somebody down. Even when I see, like, engagements and women say no, I'm like, I, yeah, it's that's worse. It, it's, that's I'll worse no than saying yes. And then after the fact, be like, <laughs> yeah. no. Oh, no, engagements are actually one of those things where I was I would give it a hard no in that You're moment. You're serious? Oh, no. no. Unless, oh, unless, it, unless it was somebody from my past and I'm like, what the fuck no. are you doing Engage- here? But somebody who I'm dating to do yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. Engagement is a really big deal. No, if it's no. a public proposal, no, yes. if it's public, you'd be no, like, no. I'm not no. saying no. No. After I feel when, like and then you have a room full of people thinking that y'all are engaged, and then later on they find out that there's no wedding. That's it's even okay, worse. but that's not their business. No. That, the I truth, know, rumors will spark, got, and it'll say she called it off. No, that's okay. I know a lot of people got engaged, and they're not engaged anymore. It doesn't matter. Like it yeah. does not matter. I just it doesn't. Think that, we're adults. I don't know because I kind of agree. Like, I don't agree with Nikki, but I see where she's coming from. Just for the simple fact that okay, there's there's levels to it. It depends. Like if you if it was a sloppy, sloppy, sloppy job. Okay, yeah, you might have to get that. Eh. I mean, you might get the yes and then the scolding later. But, like, if it's, like, we're in a bad place, we're not ready for this, and, like, you did this to kind of save face in front of everybody, like, you that's might have to crazy. get that hard no. That's you crazy. might have because what are you doing? Like, like but don't, is, you embarrassed yourself. Yeah, I didn't like, embarrass you. No, True, but, I'm you not, but I'm not going to add embarrassment to to me as well. I'm not including myself in that that's embarrassment. That's not adding, adding yourself to embarrassment. People are going to be like, because what if your best friend's there and she's like, that's not Wait. business though. Well, okay, I'm not referring to a situation where the guy is toxic or whatever. Yeah. Y'all are in a good place. I'm referring to a situation where maybe he, just he proposed it, it and he blindsides you and, you and you heard you're like, are we ready for this? We haven't had the conversations as far as like, mm-hmm. I want to be engaged to you. You know what I mean? I think in that moment, it'd be nice to just be like, hmm, smile. Maybe not give it a hard no, but maybe not give it like a strong yes. That's you know like, sometimes you see engagement and you're like, did she even say yes? Right. Maybe she like hugs him and all of a sudden later on, it's just like, did yeah. she say yes? But, but then I later think- on have a conversation like, hey, I don't even think we're ready for this. And yeah. 
politely get type it back. Of it. I think a conversation <laughs> behind this would be better because let's say a couple is in a bad situation. You hard tell him no in front of everybody and yeah, then you, later down the line you come to forgive him. He's supposed mm-hmm. to propose again. Oh yeah, that's, every, that's <laughs> Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's like, it. if you know somewhere in your, like, even if it's not the right time and if you know you want to be with this yeah. man, why can't you say yes now and thank after the you. fact have Everyone a conversation? Like, you I want don't to be with him. No, thank you. So who's proposing and y'all don't want to be with them? Y'all We're just talking about how niggas be blindsided. A nigga will put you in Who's proposing with rings without having a conversation with the person? Guys, like, y'all haven't brought no, that up in your no relationship really at all doing that anymore. In this y'all, day and we're age. literally just talking about being bombarded here. Yeah, I've been like bombarded with mad gifts, and like it is just like, bro, like, Look, what? Let me let me speak on that, okay? <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's exactly what I'm going through at this very moment, y'all. You know, I love flowers, absolutely love them, and a guy and I we got into it, and I'm not speaking to him. Mm-hmm. Every day this week, flowers have been showing up at my front door. And I think that that's not okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's mm-hmm. one of those things where it's like, you're almost like trying to like force Dang, my... Next next, next thing he knows, he's popping up in his club. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're trying to like force my hand at mm-hmm. like speaking to you. Mm-hmm. That's not okay. Yeah. I feel like that's exactly like proposing to somebody and you, exactly haven't, you haven't had a conversation it's not exactly you know like that do? but the feeling is is similar it's, where it's, very, like, it's, it's, it's overwhelming it's, it's a little bit you manipulative it's right. exactly. now you're like, trying you to take it to the post I don't want this no, no, no I agree that it's definitely manipulative yeah. all I'm saying is I don't see myself because I feel like when you give a hard no in that moment the villain is not the man it, it's you're the villain you. you're the one everyone looks at like damn she told that nigga no he yeah. did all this da, da, da. to me I'd nice. rather just be like mm, just I feel like it's classier just to yeah. like not say yes, like oh my gosh, yes, and play it yeah. up, but just not to say no. Like it's a way you could just be like, oh, thank you, this or that, yeah. and like pick him up and mm-hmm. hug him, and then later on be like, you know, we gonna talk about this. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, literally. Yeah. You don't ever want to be the embarrasser in Pride. public. Yeah. Like that's mm-hmm. just no one's ever gonna look at you, right? Yeah. yeah. But speaking of the embarrasser, we are gonna go into the current events because, like, yeah. back to my girl Dreezy so, and our Dallas very own. What exactly happened? Who's Dallas' very own? Dreezy. Deandre. Deandre. No. Oh, DeAndre. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. DeAndre. Yeah. Quiz? Oh, DeAndre. She's Deion Sanders' oldest daughter, I believe. Mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. Is it? Or only not, daughter, something like that. The oldest, like, not his only. Oh, it's oh not okay. His only? Thank uh, you. At least for my play, be having kids. But what's it called? Um, so, Jack, she's... I guess she's dating Jacquees. We don't know if she's pregnant. Dreezy's the one blowing the lid on that. But they've been spotted together like at a few games or whatever. Mm. And something happened that I guess a few made games. Didn't they have matching PJs? <laughs> they there was yeah they fully had matching. Yeah, PJs. Oh, they're, they're, they're together. Real yeah, they're they're like, together allegedly, but they're yeah. together. I think they they're claiming each other. But then what did DeAndrea say to Dreezy to get her upset? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. That's the crazy part is, is like she's possibly pregnant. You know how when you throw jabs, it's crazy when the clap the buzz back is so large. I don't even know what started it. I just know Dreezy said, you know what, you playing with me. She empty screenshots. Yeah, oh. no. See, I, empty yeah. screen and Jacquees is fully begging for this girl back. So the to the is, point where she said So what well, we have to understand the backstory is that yeah. Dreezy and Jacquees were together we're dating, for yeah. a while. For like a while. And I like, thought it was PR. That's crazy that that was a real relationship. Yeah, it was a really, really relationship. It was like, it was one PR of her... PR is crazy. It was one of her like... Zero noise. Jocelyn yeah, was getting like... Noise. He was getting very like... <laughs> it's crazy. Getting, you know what, I mean? what was the point of that? I mean, that, no, I'm just saying it wasn't was PR. Like, case. it she wasn't PR do. at no, all. No, it was. No, because but Jocelyn at that, at that point... Like, remember he was getting very, very famous for like his like... What? Uh, his, he, his tours he, didn't. He, no, for his like uh, he was it? like doing remakes. All he did, you but know, he was being really the remake. But he's always yeah, been known. Yeah, but he was. Yeah. But he was okay. being really, really, really big at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's then when Dreezy, like, her career was also kind of new at that time. Remember, she was like putting, she put that song out with T Pain. Like mm-hmm. she was like she getting a little bit buzz. So like mm-hmm. they were a cute little couple. Okay, I see what they did. There. Yeah, so they were together for a while, and so I don't know at what point they broke up. Yeah. Not sure. DeAndre answers the picture. And apparently, she's allegedly, I guess, pregnant with his child. Mm -hmm. He comes into Dreezy's messages talking about something. You know, I want to have a baby by you. A kid don't make a family. I want you back. I don't like that girl. Look at how these men talk. Uh, He didn't say he didn't like her. But he said a kid doesn't make a family. He for sure said that. And that, to me, was wild. That is crazy. (sighs) Any man that talks or thinks like that, ladies. Because what does a kid make? Yeah, and uh, yeah, no. Isn't that what, co- this, so isn't that what he's basically saying? It's a broken home from the start. Is yeah, what he's saying. which on, and then further on That's down the sad. line, like DeAndre was. I mean, the tweets came out, and like again, Dreezy had outed that the girl's pregnant. DeAndre was pregnant, 
and DeAndre was tweeting like, you know how she's so heartbroken or whatever. And Dreezy responded like, "Sis, you didn't feel this way when you were sleeping with him when we was together. So I hope you get better." No, it got worse. It got worse. Oh. And she was just like, "Oh, like you know." And DeAndre responded with like, "Look, I can get another nigga who make money than both of y'all." And Dreezy was like, Dude. coming from a nigga who used to talk to Boosie, who slept with Boosie. And I just, she was like, well, Boosie was really than both of y'all had more money than both of y'all. And I just was like, this is her daddy daughter? is prime time. Can y'all stop Dion's playing with her? daughter? No, thank you. No, can y'all stop playing with her? No, can she stop playing with herself? Can she stop playing with herself? Can she stop playing with herself? Can she stop playing not Lucy even just wild. that. People have been going in on her talking about your brothers play with so many fine niggas. Your daddy is what you can get you a nigga in the league and your you went for Jacquees. Any good you went for Jacquees. Jacquees or whatever. And, and let that nigga so trap you. And then let him trap Let that nigga trap you. you. He got his hair snatched in a fight. Yeah. You have <laughs> athletic really blood in your veins and you married a 5'2 man. Song? Married is <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're having a 5'2 child? No, yeah, no. Sis, These you old 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 babies, so who's side of y'all? So Ooh. who's side of y'all? I'm on no one's what, side. What girl? No. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Because I, I don't even know what started. It's messy. Uh, yeah, it is. Because we don't know what is Sis what. Took we it don't to hell. know nothing. Uh, Jersey took it to hell. Those bro. two are the only ones that know exactly what's going on. I can't be on anyone's side. I'm on the side of y'all. You stop looking embarrassed. It kind of sounds mm. like it's one of those things where like DeAndrea was messing with Jacquez whenever Dreezy and him were in a relationship. And eventually, Dreezy kind of let him go. He ended up, you know, really fucking with DeAndre afterwards. And so, Dreezy probably has no, like, sympathy towards her because she's just like, you were a side chick in our relationship. But Dreezy yeah, needs to it. calm down because when she first got with Jacquez, he was with his baby mama and they had the right. same type of risk. So, so for you, already? he already has a, a baby mama oh and Dreezy God. and the baby mama was getting into it to begin too, with. with. So the same way you got him is the same way you lose him. I keep telling y'all this on this platform. Yeah. The same way you get a man is the same way you're going to lose him. I just, Respect him. Yeah. So kid really don't make no family for no, him. No, so it doesn't. Like, she caught it straight too. She no. thought that they're not a family. I just feel like, again, like coming uh, at the woman when it's, and this thing is quiet in the background. They said a peep. Like coming at the woman and y'all just going back and forth. It's always going to look crazy. Like that's yeah. I, it's always gonna look wild and no we're not doing that please let's just not mm -mm. Hmm. see how like find out with this nigga that's so embarrassing Ooh, somebody said he had boneless dreads oh, and you guys are <laughs> fighting over him back up pulled right. up <laughs> alright y'all let's talk about the Grammys I feel like there's just so much to uh, yeah no there was a okay this Grammy I, I didn't like it but then I liked it at the same time so like y'all why did they have Lizzo giving an award what everyone what? forgot those Lizzo? allegations in Amsterdam what what allegations allegations that, she was, that she was um all the people that work for her she was making them do all those oh girl they already came back and retracted their statements yeah okay okay i just want to make sure i'm like i was shocked to see lizzo on that stage. i'm like oh wow like we're very forgiving she, be, she beat those allegations okay okay yeah i, I, I wouldn't so believe it, that so you know it's okay okay so no, let's talk about like brown on. Let's i don't get about, it <laughs> <laughs> so jay-z's speech Rihanna forgived him publicly so jay-z basically he was given what what was he given like a lifetime um, Dr. Dre's uh, Impact Award, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, can't believe Dre has. So an award. he went up there and did a speech, and he basically <laughs> talked about how, like, you know, fuck the Grammys. He was like, he, at one point, he was boycotting them, and how his wife has most Grammys in history, and she still has not won um, album of the year. How is that possible? So he just basically shit on the Grammys while accepting a Grammy, mm -hmm. um, which I'm. Not actually very happy he did that because i do feel like there was a lot of shade this grammy Taylor Swift. awards like in, what do you mean with she gave she gave shade during her acceptance speech saying that basically a lot of the thought process of, of awarding people in the grammys is what is thorough and well thought out and stuff like that and she respects the great all that stuff yeah she gave out shade like because a lot of people have been saying like you know the wrong people are in the different categories and not the right people are winning and she was just like no I respect the Grammys and that yeah Taylor Swift was giving shade all I mean, night. of course she respects the Grammys Taylor Swift has, has won yeah, so many course. yeah she's like the she won a Grammy for an album that no one even listened to. The Eras tour was about yeah, her, her older work. Yeah. It's crazy. No, but even even her fans were saying like Midnight's was not like the best album. Mm -hmm. I feel like they gave the the Eras tour a Grammy. It right. was not for her recent work because the Midnight's album didn't really make no as much noise as right. the tour did. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like true. she did not deserve over yeah because even like last year Lana Del Rey who won album of the year it was Harry's house right he won was yeah. it yeah, yeah. Harry's Styles. house oh yeah Her no his Harry's. album I think yeah. it was called Harry's, Harry's house oh, okay. so he won album of the year over Beyonce and I think that's when a lot of people were like I can't believe but it's like y'all like we gotta just stop going to these award shows 
they yeah. don't represent us at all. Like we need to bring back old awards old award shows and actually take these other award shows that are catered to bring us back the seriously. Source Awards <laughs> need to come back immediately. <laughs> so rap can come back. So rap can come back. But like NAACP image like all those awards we need to start going to those and actually taking it serious I just feel yeah. like Grammys do not represent us they do not care about black music they do not care about us the fact that y'all we gotta give this woman her flowers Nicki Minaj the fact that they played with her so bad this Grammys it's to me it just shows that they don't give a fuck about us they don't care about talent it's whoever is kissing their ass is what's who's gonna get the award you know what I mean so that's my take on the Grammys I mean Shout out to everybody that won. I was really happy for SZA because she deserved those awards. Victoria Oh, Monet, absolutely. You know Coco I mean? Jones. Yeah, like love the girls down. They looked great. Yeah. They what? Deserved okay, speaking it. of Grammys looking were, great. Uh, oh, oh my god. How did y'all? Okay, did y'all see uh, Sukiyana's no, outfit? Absolutely, I did. No, I did not. I, I wasn't for it. the Grammys. You didn't see it. It oh, wasn't for the Grammys. I wish I could. Let me I see. really feel like they be people be just trying stuff that. Not at the Grammys, bro. Like, her butt was exposed in the back. Ooh. And, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the front of the dress looked really cute. But when she turned around, her ass was exposed. And it's like, mm. bro, this is your first in, But it's your first invite, bro. Like, no. We're not. Mm. It's Grammys. Oh, no. Mm. I feel like there's a time <laughs> it's a and a place. So, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, even, like, for example, I'll speak to the BET Award. I hate how they people come dressed to that award show. It's like, y'all. This is an award show for us. No. Represent yourself they be well. Coming, like they go into the no, club sometimes. I'm just like, wait, leggings? Yeah, oh, that's like crazy. guys, like what's going on here? Let's take this serious. Like, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just I didn't really like that part, but yeah. And I don't like how the Grammys y'all literally played into the Afrobeat and Nigerian mm. fan base, mm. and y'all played in everybody's face. And mind you, Tyla, sweet girl, I'm pretty sure she works very hard. But the fact that y'all gave this girl a Grammy is crazy to me it, she has one song that we know song. of and the song went platinum on tiktok that's about it, it the it fact really, that yeah, devito no. ashake alameda burner boy ira star, ira star, star people who have put their blood sweat and tears in this Afrobeats and african music genre yeah. who actually deserve a grammy yeah. y'all gave it to this to girl who Tyler. popped up yesterday but that's i don't even think me. they factor in all that i just but think they factor this one song you but know that's no I, I, I think it used to not be like but that. not only that i think it's just a lack of research i think yeah. they have people voting who are not familiar with nigerian no. music and they just know of twilight and they gave it to her but if you really think about all for African music performance unavailable by far should have won that should have won mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that's what should have got definitely, the Grammy definitely. Twyla because her song went viral on TikTok but it's like as far as deserving but it's so crazy I feel like as soon as the Grammys happen all of a sudden now I'm hearing uh, Tyler's new song "Truth or Dare." Like I feel like that, everyone's been playing. Out. She's, she's, she's an industry plan. She's an industry plan. She's uh, yeah. She to me, okay. Don't get me wrong. She has other songs, but it's like she's Grammy. All her I don't songs think she's sound the same to me. Yeah, yeah. she's not and a Grammy do. nominated artist. And then y'all call Burner Boy to perform and, and had him on win. that stage for three and a half minutes. Like y'all really played. In, and I thought if he performed, you win an award. Why was he performing? Why did Twyla not perform? Yeah, I thought that's weird. Okay, so. Nicki Minaj. <gasps> Y'all know she had a Grammy. She was up for a Grammy nomination mm -hmm. for Barbie oh with Ice Spice. They actually said that she won. I don't know if they announced it on TV, they but they announced, they announced, it, on announced it on the Grammy they website mm -hmm. and they announced it on um, Google, Google that she was and the Twitter. official win winner of that category. I think, I don't know, was it best uh, collaboration or best song before? I don't yeah, know what it was. Best rap performance. But she was, uh, yeah, she was up for one. And um, I think they took it and said Killer Mike won? Yeah. Killer Mike. And which is, you know, I heard. I, you know, I heard it was album a good, was good yeah, but yeah, yeah, I heard. So I mean, that's so, no but it's like, but, Barbie, come on. But I do feel like, it's always conscious no, that wins. no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, it, it is. But I feel like she was going to win, but the situation that happened two weeks ago, I definitely feel like it had an impact on it. They so. had to snatch it from her. I don't because, think but so. here's the thing: why would it be no. preset on the Grammys website? No. We snatched that shit from you because look at no. what why you're was doing. Mike, was Killer Mike really arrested? Yeah, after something happened and he got arrested after. Well, he was put in handcuffs. He was never arrested. Yeah, he was never yeah, arrested. Something happened. I don't know. I didn't really research yeah, that. He was just being detained. I didn't, know, I didn't, know, you can, I didn't know you could get put in handcuffs without being arrested. No, thank you. <laughs> they be playing with black people. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the thing. That's but, why. Uh, but yeah, no, I definitely feel like if it... If it the reason being, because she was on the Grammy website. So that means you you were pre-selected to win. We're just going to snatch this shit from you because no. we not... But let's be serious, though. Let's be for real. Nicki Minaj was spiraling on the internet 
Weeks before <laughs> she was, she was weeks before. But spiraling is crazy. Saying, no, she was. She was. That's, saying, that's the right word. Going, no. go, saying things that Nikki you cannot come from, guys. saying things that you cannot come but back from still, because you're no, 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 no. You cannot come back they, from certain Grammys stuff like has that. Been snubbing Nikki since 2000. Absolutely, I, they, no, have. they have. Talk about they have. Let's talk have. about it. like I get the spiraling stuff, but y'all, let's talk about it. No, yeah, they have. There's no reason why Nicki Minaj does not have a Grammy in 2024. There's not. That's weird. But 2024, you didn't deserve that. Sorry, but you didn't. You didn't. But Cardi B deserved a Grammy invasion of privacy no I'm not saying oh, music wise I'm not good. saying no, music wise invasion of privacy was actually very good what, what very vague it still gets played so, to this she day she got a Grammy in my car for sure you know what I'm saying <laughs> Platinum in my book. Platinum in my book. But no, what I'm saying, music wise, Nicki Minaj absolutely deserves it. I said on this podcast, timeless mm-hmm. and time. Nicki Minaj deserves a Grammy, and I even said Nicki Minaj should not go to the Grammys yeah. because you being nominated now with Ice Spice is just kind of like it's just a slap in the face. So I don't feel like I feel like they've always played in her face. However, if I feel like there was one time she didn't deserve it, it was this year because Nicki, you cannot say stuff and do stuff like that to people who are well connected in this industry, and then you can get away with it. Mm-hmm. Sorry, aren't the, like this, is, but this aren't the Image Awards. These are the Grammys. They should be getting awarded based off yeah. their music performance. Absolutely. They never went off of that way on the Grammys. I think it's definitely like, political. It's yeah. definitely it's, it's, political. She's been, but the thing politics. is, y'all, she's it's been... Conscious rap she's still been keeps talking winning about rap it. category. Come which on. Which is crazy. The reason why they keep... Some, she's been talking about it. She's the one of the very Even few artists that Kamar, actually he. is exposing what the industry is doing to artists, how they're robbing them and everything. So she has... It's been ongoing. So to me, I'm like, just because the shenanigans that took place two I don't even think it's just because the shenanigans. She wasn't the only one that said stuff either. So to me it's just like y'all at the end of the, it's Grammys it's music related yeah. like unpopular opinion I don't think it's just because of shenanigans I feel like Nicki Minaj has probably burnt bridges with a lot of people in the industry like I mean I don't I, I, it's, I again agree. it's politics probably and, she, and she, she said that but I do feel like Nicki Minaj was never gonna get a Grammy never. I think because of everything she did they knew that that was good clickbait for their show yeah. they wanted to get in they're the using blocks. her likeness I think, really, I think it was a purpose uh, an intentional mm-hmm. fuck up mm-hmm. yeah Damn. I can see that Mm-hmm. And, and again, they're playing in her face. They are. And she's the right one to do it because no one's going to care. That's a, if that was anybody else, if that right. was Taylor Swift, they would have been burning bridges down. They would have right. hacked to the Grammy website and put it back up. Mm-hmm. Right. That's so crazy. <laughs> like, because true, it was Nicki Minaj, no one gives a fuck. Because yeah. people are saying stuff like, she didn't deserve That's it anyway. True. Da 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 da. Yeah. But I don't know. Let's talk about the whole situation with Nicki and Megan, y'all. Like, I, okay. That's rap beef. I mean, it, yeah, I it is rap beef. So, it's rap beef. These newer generation Meg of people don't understand rap beef, and that's why all these think pieces don't make sense. Okay, to me. so Meg Thee Stallion <laughs> put on put out a song. Was it? Is it his? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She put out a song his, and she was throwing shots. I'm not gonna lie. She loaded the clip, and she came for a lot of people. A lot of people. Uh, she came for a lot of people, and she never said a name. And it really was a a, a shoes fit all situation. So anybody could have took that and applied it to their mm-hmm. lives and been offended. Mm-hmm. But Nicki Minaj, however. Did hear that Megan's Law line because she did say you worried about Megan, you need to be worried about Megan's Law, which is a law about um, uh, preda- pre- uh, what's the word? Pedoph- pedophiles, yeah, pedophilia. like having mm-hmm. to be like registered, I- registered, Re- and identified. Yeah. It was based on an actual child named Megan, and that they named the law after her. Mm-hmm. So, who was a victim of sexual assault? Nicki Minaj, with her alleged pedophile husband, took. She, she took offense to that and so she literally went on a spiral for 72 hours like was on the internet saying mm-hmm. everything under the sun about Megan just talking about her appearance talking about how she has a big foot how she her <laughs> flow she she cannot rap how her flow is like pimpsy and bun B and she doesn't know she needs to decide who she Which wants to be crazy. she called her drunk she said that she's drinking honey through a straw she, she called got, her a cl- slut claimed she that she had her a nose the, job claimed that she had lipo suction saying that she everything in the industry which is alright cool <laughs> say what you want about me but then she also talked about her deceased mother she brought her deceased mother into the situation, which yeah, I, everybody about, you knows. Need a, you need to resurrect your mother or something like that? She said that you lied on your dead mother. I don't, did she say resurrect your I mother? I don't know. She, she did. She, she did. Said you, I think she said you need to go re- rectify. She said something no, she said, she apologize. Said, she, said, she said, with you lying, you better hope your mom doesn't like resurrect your... Yes, she did. It does, that my was, thing y'all is, should look at the lyrics and read it. No, it wasn't, that wasn't lyrics. That was on her live. No, it was on her song, too. I, she said it on her song. Yeah, the she's end, reading her song lyrics on the line. Yeah. But, yeah, which, for me... Rap beef is rap beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, get in the booth. I, yeah, I, I'm with the shits. Like, yeah. exactly. I, we want to hear you mad at you play, but I fucked your wife. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, on, y'all, y'all, like, okay, my no, thing because I get it. Let me just lay in here <clears throat> again. I just, rap beef is rap beef. Like, get in the booth. Like, whatever you want to say, put it in a song. And Nicki Minaj lyrically, let's be so serious, can rap circles around a lot of the girlies. So for Nicki to go on the spiral that she did for 72 hours, if not more, it probably was, was, it probably was four days. That was very hard to watch because it was giving unhinged. It was giving like, is Nicki Minaj okay? Like, is Nicki Minaj on drugs? Like, it, a lot of things were coming yeah. up to just like, dang, like, how's her mental? Because this is not normal for somebody who, you know, 
and who is talented, who can literally musically put it in a booth. So I just think that, I don't know, I just feel like the whole situation, I, we, and the question comes up, like, is there boundaries in rap beef? Like, is, no. is, is there a far too far? No. I feel like there is. I feel like there is because yeah. there's certain things that are just like, okay, cool. And that's my thing. You can talk about my appearance. You can talk about everything under the sun. But I feel like when we talk about people who are no longer here, it's unfair. I, I do feel like it's unfair because, again, like, you, her bringing up her, like, I, I don't know. I feel like that's just too far for me. And it's just like, why is that? I, okay, okay, my but, thing is, okay, why is there, okay, I feel like, why are y'all having this type of, like, criteria for Nikki but not Megan? You talked no, no, about her husband. But, but not only y'all she talked did. about her brother. Y'all talked about a lot. Like, y'all lot, is crazy. Megan did not talk about her brother. I'm not talking brother. about Megan. I'm talking about people that, that's the all, it's so crazy. The only We're thing people, about Megan and but Nikki, I'm just though. saying in general, like, it just seems like a lot, like, the goalpost is always getting moved with her. Like, with rap, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, have y'all not listened to other rap beefs? Yeah. I think, but that's problem, child's play with what they were doing. But Nikki should have put play. it in a song. She hopped on Twitter she, tweeting. But those, it, it no, was those, but, then, song but then after the fact, the song came. But after the fact, after the fact, after the fact, but it doesn't matter. You tweeted and she you made your tweets into a song. That song was not done. She tweeted, gathered those tweets, and then made the song. She was tweeting her song lyrics. Either way. No, she was not. No, 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 no. Okay, no, the thing is, in her defense, she was, because if you listen to the song, the cadence it is from her song i think the problem with the song coming out late was because they couldn't get like um, clearance they couldn't get clearance on a certain instrumental so they had to change the instrumental which is why it came out acapella and with a different beat Mm -hmm. but all in all she was um she was like reciting her rap beef Mm that felt like she'd been she says to conjure up your late mother that's not in her song at all. She says, "You lying on your dead mama. You lying." If you on, go and wa- look your at dead the mother, lyrics. Lying on your dead. No, that's look no. at the lyrics and, and the talk when she's no, talking. And at I the get end, that. She says no, that. she doesn't say it. I'm actually on both. No, she does not talk about conjuring. No, in before Nikki ever made y'all like let's let's, okay. let's, let's <laughs> okay. say what it is. Before Nikki ever made the song, she went on Twitter, went on wherever, and she was talking about you need to conjure up your dead mother. Okay, okay. in the song. All she, all, her chorus is, you lying on your dead mama. You lying on your dead mama. That's her, that's the only thing she's talked about with her mom on there. Okay, my, my thing is, I'm not even here to defend that because because I, I do I do feel like it's low, whatever. My thing is, I feel like that there's a double standard though because if we think about it, Gucci Mane talking about go dig up Pookie, all the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Dirk been smoking on op packs for about five years now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think it's just, there's very much a double standard when it comes to female rap and male rap because we sing along with it and we very much don't care when it's men going at each other. But mm-hmm. as soon as it's a woman, it's like we ha- we play like these respectability politics where it's like, also, this is off limits and that's off limits. I also think what makes it worse is that people already look at Nikki as a bully. So when you come out and saying this shit, you're just reaffirming that you're a fucking bully. And I think that's why a lot of people were like, you went too far. If it would have been anybody else that Meg would have been beefing when they would have said that, I don't think the backlash would have been that bad. Nikki literally is just feeding into the image that the society and everybody has a her. But my and it's thing, negative. My thing is, if she would have initially put that in a song, okay, cool, then maybe it could have been overlooked. You were on live saying this. So it's just like, you're just targeting, like just going, going, going. It's just like, that is not rap beef anymore. Now you you're you actually want to beef. Like, this is not, because there's no rap involved. So that's why I feel like it's too far. Like, and, and it just, it, and again, Megan said nothing. Megan didn't personalize anything. You put Megan's name, addressed it, and told brought up her dad and that's what I'm just like bro like at one point when are we gonna talk about respect here you know what I'm saying like and I feel like th- it's just too far but y'all like but, no what, but, okay but, I, I okay, wanna ask this question defense, what but, is her it, what's the issue with someone I'm I know you were talking about me so I'm talking back to you directly I'm saying your name I, now you know it's so, so crazy you know it's so crazy there are people so that don't play those me. games with people it's so crazy to me because whenever Cardi and Nikki were beefing people were like oh Cardi's going too far by trying to be physical in this instance it, it would not. It would, it would it, not go over my. I would not even bat an eye if, if Megan got swung at Nikki. I don't think anybody said feel, Cardi was going too far. No, yes, y'all did. People, did. people did say Cardi went too far. Yes, they were saying it, was, it happened at the. the, the Gala, they were like, this is, or, not, this is yeah, whatever not, it happened. Yeah, whatever. At, yeah. Oh my gosh! Like, why bizarre. would why would Cardi take it as far as trying to be physical? Like, no. Like, I think that Nikki says things that literally go so far below the belt. It's like, no, actually, like, fuck the rap shit. Let's. Let's let's, let's fight. fight at this point. <laughs> like, let's just fight. Let's fight. <laughs> and in this moment, if if Megan told Nikki to square up, I, I would be, be like, mad. I would even though she could be her mom, but like I wouldn't be mad at it at this point because I feel like it's just it's too much. It's, it's too, too much. much. Like and you can't talk about no one's dead mom. I like, feel, sorry. Yeah. I mean, she went and brought up talk about anybody's family but, members. But, 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 but we want to be on the old clear here. tweets, which I think is really unfair. Like Megan had tweeted, like she must have been mad at her mom and was like, I could slap her right now. And Nikki pulled that up from many many years ago. Talk childish. about look how you were talking about your mom. And it's like to let's not act like you never been mad at your parents, right? Okay, okay. So to bring that up. 
Y'all, in a moment and felt that as a she's petty and she just went over like I don't get it no. I don't think y'all but, but okay. Okay. here's, here's my levels to pettiness okay but Paula here's my issue with your understand. stance is the fact that you even said okay well, well Megan talked confused. about her husband uh, Megan talked about Nikki's husband but here's the thing Nicki Minaj you signed up for somebody who was in public scrutiny whether or not he did it you knew what kind of image that was going to bring to it you it yes it does matter because now that he's a reflection okay, of you so, and now you look crazy Crystal, but I, all I'm saying is that at the end of the day just because that is her situation she can say whatever she wants to someone too it goes it's both ways it, no I, I don't I think, don't I feel I'm not gonna lie like I don't even really think we should have this conversation because it's kind of baseless at this point because it's not I get it, like y'all are really y'all are trying to like put, put like a humanity card here and it's just at the end of the day things were said someone came back rat, did a whole song did whatever they both dissed each other get over it dissed each are other are y'all mad because someone took it up and not up the score a little bit because I think that's really it. what's going it's, on it, here it had nothing I'm to do with the song let's talk understand. about your fame spiraling she's not okay <laughs> let's talk about that <laughs> I don't have to talk about that. You can though. It's so crazy. Well, then don't defend it because she's crazy. I'm, it's not about defending. I'm just saying like y'all. You are defending. You know, the okay, goalposts in this I, conversation. The goalposts is not moved. I, 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 I strictly the, standing on my what I said. I think what okay. the issue is is that there are some people who think that there are some boundaries in rap, and there's people who feel I like know. there's not. And I feel like probably you probably belong to the school of it's rap, all's fair in love and war and all the other stuff. And if you take it there, you take it there. And I the only reason I kind of agree with Paula is because. I feel like if you decide to enter rap beef or throw shots stuff like that, you have to expect a little pushback. And I agree. So and I agree. But yeah, but I agree. Hold, on, hold on. You have to pick a little pushback. And at the end of the day, I think Nikki might have went a little bit too far. But I think Megan, if you the same way you say Nikki knows her situation, Megan knows her weaknesses and the mm-hmm. things that she's vulnerable and the things that if somebody really wants to get to you in a rap, what they can go after. And that's the risk that you take when you start throwing shots at like everybody. But you see, the thing is, I think that we kind of have to be careful about the lines that we do cross. Because if we think about like old rap beef, people were getting killed mm-hmm. over shit that was being said in, in songs. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I don't think that it needs to go as far as that. Because it easily could. Mm-hmm. Like, people could really take it to the point where it's like, no, like, now you're talking about my family, you're talking about my dead mom, you're talking about my husband. I'm not going to lie. People could get killed. And I don't think it's I don't think it's that serious to take it to that point. I, I, like mm-hmm. People keep talking about, oh, people don't know what rap beefs are. No, we know what rap beefs are. People were dying. But my thing is, so how come we don't have the same? En- I, I think though, this, this whole conversation is only introduced when it's women beefing. I feel like when, yeah. it, was, when it was Cardi and... Nicki Minaj, no, it was the same thing. No, it's not when it's no, hold on. When, when it was Cardi and Nicki Minaj, it was the same thing. When it was Megan and Nicki Minaj, it was the same thing. Even Lotto and Ice Spice, it's just the girls are fighting, the girls are fighting. But in the rap space, it's the exact same thing. NBA Young Boy and Dirk was going back back at it to the point where Drake was like, oh, I don't want to do a song with this person. I don't want that. Like, there's so many beefs that happen and people take shots at each other in the men's space. Nobody says anything. No, people, people actually die. People, people die. People Yo. die. People have been dying and still, They're Dirk still, dying still have a song and say, uh, smoking on 2D and all this other stuff yeah, they, okay yeah. guys I think you and guys are missing my, the main thing that I said here is I agree with you I, I'm not say, it's put it in a song Nicki Minaj did not put that in a song until four it's days later I don't, I don't think, think it's a song I don't think song like, or not I feel like it's, song. Song. it's the same thing I don't think no, it should even be a song I'll no, be because back in the day no, back in the day it wasn't just songs they were on documentaries they were shooting videos it wasn't just songs they would they would go on the Source Awards and grab the mic and call out a whole absolutely a whole record label that's what I'm saying like Tupac even did it himself like so many people have done this before that's I'm like I just Tupac's not even here Tupac died at what what age oh my god okay that's why I think it all goes down to some people believe that there are boundaries around and some people believe that it's not I don't think it's a I mean as long to me as long as it doesn't get physical as long as it doesn't yeah. get violent I do think that you know everyone just kind of calm down a little bit do I feel like Nicki Minaj should have not responded me personally I feel like it would have been better if she didn't because mm-hmm. that line could have been about anybody right it could have been about anybody but in watching hip hop and stuff like that and see how things go, I mean <laughs> <laughs> but the have, fact that Megan hasn't even responded now I mean, and now Megan all she's doing is like coming back with we all can't see him in Megan's position in the game but now Megan's coming back with like groundbreaking deals yeah. and different y'all, like they're trying to run one y'all. billboard okay. so all right, all right, let's, let's talk back to what Megan remember Megan <laughs> that was part of the rollout album in three or four years Thanks. so Megan was never going to respond to that because her team have already put in place what needs to be done this year to make sure you hit when you drop that so called album mm-hmm. that's it so she's never was going to respond oh, so yeah. it's everything is strategic at this point that's why I'm like y'all for all we know Nicki Minaj played her hand Nicki Minaj played but Nicki had a disc ready to go and that shit was whack the one that she dropped the same night all I know is all I know is marketing that though you know Nikki what I'm saying like, played into people liking Megan again which is so did. crazy she marketing too like everything she, like, she, she definitely, she okay. definitely they she knew definitely she did. was gonna react 
and <laughs> they, they did what needed to be done. But at the same yeah. time, <sighs> yeah. I'm like, what am I going to say to myself? So probably like, please guys don't cancel me. Please guys don't cancel me. <laughs> but I do feel like, okay, talk about sympathy and payola, right? Meg, I would, I, I understand how she's like, this album is about like, calling out all the snakes. All the people who were like, going against me, this and that, da, da, da. A part of me does feel like it is like, a sympathy and payola campaign a little bit just because a lot of the attention isn't like I truly fuck with the song it's like you know I don't like this person so I'm supporting you out of not liking I support this song I support this record because I don't like what party did to you mm -hmm. I support this record because oh look what Nicki Minaj is doing I think a lot of it is that it's like you're calling out artists hoping that they respond and getting that using that energy to pump up the song because we haven't heard from about Cobra since mm -hmm. we have not heard from Cobra and his is going to die down a little bit that's i a, hope that meg can get back to like making fun songs that we yeah, enjoy because i yeah. actually do like megan's songs but I, the thing is megan is a very talented person but i will have to say her music comes and goes she has not dropped a song that sticks no, i mean recently, lately recently. lately her music has like not she has and it's so, songs that no, stick. Yeah. No, i like megan's just, piano I, plan b i, I, I like her I freestyle said, megan's talent i love megan's music but as of lately her music has not been sticking and that could be her record label because I definitely think she's dropping she's dropping and provocative just, songs. Like, not not yeah. just that you gotta think about like the transition she was going through like recently. Like she was going from like she was trying to fight with one record label to go to another one and she mm -hmm. was just going through a lot. So I feel like she hasn't really been settled until really into this moment and then because then the Tory Lane stuff happened. So I think this is like her moment to actually mm -hmm. like be settled. And so I don't know. I'm excited to see what Megan's gonna come with. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And we'll Love just, girls. Shout out to H Town. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask y'all a question. Because I saw this recently about like, you know, finding your significant other or whatever and making a password. Have you heard of that? Have you heard mm -hmm. the thing about making a password? So oh. have you heard it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's like either a password for confirmation. It could be a positive confirmation or negative confirmation. So I mean a girl told a story about how she was like, um, maybe say you're struggling like in a certain area and it's like the password is I know the person who got who you want from me I want them to come in and like I want them to like talk to me about strawberries like randomly in the conversation I just mm -hmm. I, if he talked about strawberries I know he's a guy and like randomly like she'll go to Kroger some guy and be like hey here's some strawberries and she's like oh my gosh like is this him guy like what's happening and it's like that's the password the guy's trying to tell you like it's him so now a lot of people are like using it the other way where it's like a confirmation for someone that you need to remove from your life mm. so maybe it's like okay well if this person is, I'm using petty examples, but they're clearly like, or not clearly, but they can be deeper. So it could be if this person brings up like this book, Atomic Habits, and it could be something right. so specific. And lately they'll be like, oh, I just read this book the other day. It's Atomic Habits. And you're like, shit, like this is someone who I need to remove. Right. So I just thought about, I wanted to know how y'all thought about that. Or would y'all ever do something like that? I mean, I don't know if I, okay. So it's kind of crazy. I kind of already <laughs> like, lead my life like that but it's not in a way of like a password but there are certain things like i've prayed multiple times and it'd be like god please give me a sign if you love me right now you let them let, let me know like <laughs> does this person need me in my life do i need to do they need to walk out what's what's going on and god is very good about being very loud and clear about those signs no you have to be careful when you pray like that though you have to be ready like, for answer because I'm not gonna lie like you have to be ready for answer absolutely and so it's one of those things where you and you have to be able to stand on those answers mm -hmm. so yeah I, I I I just I don't know about a word though yeah, yeah I do think yeah. a word is a little frivolous but <clears throat> I mean shit if that's what the girls are doing if that's what they sign is I don't think that I would you know direct my life with that but you know Cool. I think it's a cool idea, yeah, cool concept. Cool idea. I think it's cute for those who have done it. It's yeah. yeah. And I, awesome I if this works for you. It's like, mm -hmm. okay. Because some people, I feel like, then they're going to be seeking that word. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's like, it could be your person right in front of you, so but because they haven't said that word, right. now you're doubting it. And it's just like, okay, at this okay. point, you have to have discernment. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, to be clear, it's not like a, I think I yeah. maybe dumb me down. It's not so, so much as a password, like a word. It's like a password as far as like a code. It could be something like, I don't no. know. I can't think of any Some examples. girl on TikTok, I think her word was like a tangerine orange or something like that. And the dude who she was talking to like said his favorite color was tangerine <laughs> orange. And then she was like, oh shit. So it's something like that. Like not even necessarily like, oh, if they do this or if they talk about that. It's just if they say a certain word that they picked out, then like that's their sign from God. I mean, it feels like that's, yeah. that's, that could be witchcraft too. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what you said, like, devil's <laughs> taking notes like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta, right. that's all you gotta saying, say like, is tangerine. Like, that's what right. I'm saying. Like you can it's always get enough. the wrong image from right. or the wrong mm -hmm. message from that specific thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -mm. but because the devil definitely play tricks no honestly 
So, oh my gosh, it's Galentine's, y'all. Valentine's, for those of y'all who have them. How, how, okay, first, let's do a oh quick temperature God. check. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be petty and be like, who has a Valentine's? Because, you know, y'all ain't going to share anyway. But right. I just want to get a temperature check. Like, how are y'all feeling? Because sometimes for, there are some people who, like, Valentine's Day is like, they get so depressed for some reason. It's like, I'm so sad. And it's like, why? I mean, I was in them girls before, though. But how are y'all feeling? I don't know. I feel like, first of all, I feel like everybody's in a relationship this year. Right. Like, I feel like no, all the right. girls are like, you right. know, getting what they deserve and love that for the girls. So, like I said, on Valentine's Day, I need to see gifts, flowers, dinners. Right. I want to see it all. Right. Green circles. No, like, yes. PJs. Yes. Lingerie. <laughs> all of it. Like No, green circles for real. Green circles. Right. Yeah. Screaming. Like, um, yeah. for me, I don't know. Like, this Valentine's mm. Day just feels, it feels good. Honestly, yeah. like... It feels like it's going to be a great year. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I feel like it's going to add on to my year for some reason. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is exactly, but yeah, I, I'm just excited about it. The Valentine itself or just the spirit in your life? Both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both. <laughs> like about, you know, like... Expecting a green circle from you, sis. More flowers, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> more flowers to the door. Maybe a liquor gift. Uh, so, maybe uh, a liquor some. I guess from a realistic standpoint... Um, realistic, yeah. Because, like, <laughs> oh I thought we're giving like <laughs> that was my realistic. No, I'm just saying, from, I'm speaking towards me. I can't wait to be in a position where I'm looking forward to February and Valentine's. I mean, Valentine's to me is to me. I'm not really like in a bad place. I'm not, in a, you know. I'm I'm good. I feel yeah. great. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. Like mm-hmm. God is doing a lot in my life. But I can't wait to be in a position where I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. Like mm-hmm. I just don't look forward to that holiday because it's to me it's just another holiday right now. I, I'm not in a relationship with anyone. Yeah, and so. Like so I said, kind of like whatever. Yeah, I can't wait to be it's, in a position where yeah. I'm just like, oh my god, like, yeah, it's can't wait up. for my Valentine's it's just Day very, plans. Like, monotone. Right. Yeah, right now I'm just like, okay, Valentine's Day. I can't yeah. wait to see everyone in love because a lot of the people I follow, I'm just like, dang, I've they've been popping out with their significant others on close friends. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for you, for Valentine's right. Day. No, good but question. Yeah, so. What's your okay? What if the subscribe your Valentine's Day mood with a song? <laughs> Highly mm-hmm. performing by Huncho. Y'all go listen to that shit. Girl, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Mine is Prove It, 21 Savage, Summer Walker. Ooh. Okay, I like yes, that. That's the vibe, for sure. <laughs> Dang, look. I go to my, go my, go go my iTunes. If it's a song called <laughs> We Gonna See. That's the song, We Gonna See. Like... Um, I think for me though, I do have a Valentine. I love him real bad. So, oh, um, but that. outside of that, oh, love uh, is crazy. I know, right? That's right? But for me, Valentine's Day falls on the fourteenth. My birthday is May fourteenth, so okay. I always look at it like my birthday's in three months. So even outside of not having a Valentine oh. or not, I'm always like, shit, my birthday's coming up, and that alone gets me excited. Mm-hmm. So I've never really just been super sad because I know something good is on the way. My birthday, and everyone loves their birthday. Your birthday is a holiday, right. so yeah, it's like right. that means something good is on the way. For okay. Me. okay, so let me ask y'all this. Okay. So if you had to choose for the rest of your life, um, you can either, and it's going to be like full blown, like this is going to be like the best holiday. You have to choose between Christmas and Valentine's. Girl, Christmas. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Jesus so you would birthday? never celebrate, you wouldn't be able to celebrate Valentine's Day with your significant Jesus other. Birthday? What would be the thing? <laughs> no, I feel like you, really? I don't know. I feel like Valentine's Day is like a mild Christmas. Christmas is like, all right. Really? Yeah, it's the end of the year. Because sometimes I feel like people are going harder on Valentine's Day than but Christmas. But imagine never yeah. celebrating yeah. Christmas. Yeah, what you're thinking of other. Like, oh, oh, okay. So oh, seven, oh, okay. Family? What are you thinking yeah. of the other? Oh, so you can still, so you if can you still chose, cel- you can still celebrate it like with your family, but like with your significant uh, other. You oh, okay. Then I, Valentine's Day. That's the one you're not choosing? Then I would choose to not celebrate Christmas with my significant other because I feel like a, Christmas is a family yeah. holiday anyway. Yeah, then yeah, val- mm-hmm. then Valentine's Day just you know? makes the most sense. Because imagine you choose Christmas and then what happens if your family's doing something? It's right. just like, dang, it's the only holiday I have with <laughs> Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> like, no. No. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I probably choose Valentine's Day too. Just because I think Valentine's Day can be so special. Like, it's such a special day, you know, especially when you have someone in your life that you like truly love. It's just, it's a beautiful day. Like, it truly is. Like, I don't, people just be downing it for some reason. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand like the, the Grinches towards. You know what's crazy? I feel like I'm one of those people because, like, even you saying it in my head, I'm thinking, like, it's just a day, though. Yeah. It's so crazy because I get happy even thinking about the day. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Damn, you must but always I don't have think, a Valentine. But day. I don't think y'all are Grinches about it. I feel like true Grinches yeah. are the people who are on Twitter talking about. I hope y'all get cheated. Like those yeah, are Grinches. Grinch, like yeah. no, I feel yeah. like people just not necessarily caring for the holiday for whatever said reason is justifiable. Like if you yeah. never had a good Valentine's Day, you never experienced it. Why, why would you look to that day with exci- you know, pure excitement yeah. and pure joy? When it happens to you, then okay, then it'll change. But Absolutely, those don't make Grinches to me. Yeah. That's that kind of brings me back to Grinch. what I just said initially. Like, I can't wait to look forward to it. But right now, yeah. it's like. It's just the 14th mm. of February. Yeah. Three months until my birthday. So <laughs> I want to like really put this debate to rest and I want to know. Oh my gosh. This is Meg Rex and Nikki again. Huh? I'm just gonna no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Is, okay. Is Valentine's a day where you exchange gifts or is it a thing where men or women are supposed to be the one receiving gifts? Oh, that's a good question. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, great question. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like okay. I feel like there, it just it's definitely a case by case scenario. However, let me just preference what I'm saying with I feel like Valentine's Day is a women's holiday. Like it's for the girls. Like it's always for you to like shower the girl and you know just get like just show her like you know what I mean like why she's really there. Mm-hmm. Now I feel like that applies a little bit in the dating stage. Now when you're actually further into a relationship, I do think it's okay to get your significant other. A gift, like you show your appreciation back, but in the first like year, maybe I think that's for you. Honest, that's literally for the woman. So mm. I'm sorry, that's what I, think, I feel like. I think it goes both ways. Like really? y'all, that y'all both show appreciation for each other. Just because I feel like men also need to be loved on too. So I think that's important. So I think it's for both of us, honestly, mm. not just us. I'm not. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's always been a woman's. Thing, I, I think I'm with Christmas. I think I'm with Christmas. I think I'm with Crystal on that. Only how you said like in the beginning stage I'm not gonna lie imagine you buy a guy a Valentine's Day gift and Valentine's Day comes and he gets you nothing I think it's for a man to set the tone yep. for Valentine's Day moving forward and then you can match his energy as mm-hmm. time goes on but I definitely don't think that y'all should be going 50-50 on Valentine's Day Mm-mm. that's crazy to me he's waking up to a room full of roses I'm not, not saying that I'm just saying like it's cool to like treat them like a breakfast it, mm-hmm. it's not what how you're saying it, it's not that's not how i'm viewing it what i'm saying like maybe like cooking them a nice breakfast like a comfort meal or like oh paying for them to go get like a massage or something because they've already got you all these gifts and stuff to me there's nothing wrong with like loving on your partner I mean, yeah you I too are so. established for, relationship already got you all these gifts but again if it's an early relationship it sets the tone like but either way it just it's just case by case it depends on that person and their type of love language and what they like to do because some people they like to love on whoever they're dealing with and it doesn't matter if we're here in this way or that like I know when it comes to like Valentine's Day I want to show my appreciation Mm -hmm. this way stuff like that so Mm -hmm. I definitely think like as somebody I'm naturally a gift giver right so I definitely think when it comes to Valentine's Day I do think it's more about the woman but for me I still have always gotten my significant other a gift for Valentine's Day Mm -hmm. even if it's something small like I'm not saying I'm about to spend thousands because again it's about the woman right. but just me naturally I wouldn't feel right to not get my significant mm-hmm. other something on Valentine's Day even though it's more targeted towards women but that's just right. that's just mm-hmm. me I don't, I don't know. know for me I, I agree for me I'm very big on like that's my day I'm sorry like <laughs> it, and it's my day and the reason why I say that is because how I get treated on that day is this, going to pour over mm-hmm. on how into how I treat you, mm-hmm. you like like I truly feel like I'm one of those people that's like whenever I feel like appreciated and mm-hmm. loved in a relationship right. it's like turn it up a notch. I'm going to right. town for you like mm-hmm. I'm gonna do you know like right. I'm gonna make you feel so loved and appreciated every day that you doing that one day for me like it won't even like mm-hmm. bother you you won't even think like okay yeah. I'm missing something out on this day because yeah. Literally, like every other day, is, it's you Valentine's Day, right, right, baby. Right. It's the beginning of the year. But I think no that it's Valentine's Day. That it's like right. next probably is his birthday. So yeah, right. that's the tone. Right. Right. But I think like, that just proves into the argument that men like to say, like, why do we celebrate Valentine's Day if I treat you good every other day? And right. okay, it's still a woman's holiday. Even yeah. if you treat me good every other day, what's stopping you on the day that's dedicated right. to yeah. women right. to show me that you don't fuck? With, like that's really weird. If you shower me every other day, why can't you just show out a little yeah. bit more on this day? And again, it don't have to be. Well, I don't feel like things have to be super. Granted, if you should share me all the time, like my yeah. granted, your grand is different, no. right. disrespectfully. Right. So I just feel like men choosing not to celebrate that day or making it to make it's an issue because I treat my girl. Every- then why not on a day where everyone is looking to shower women? Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, it just kind of gets broke. No. <laughs> that reminds me that tweet. Where it's like, I just don't got it. You where it's like February fifteenth, and it's like all the Valentine's Days everyday girls. Which I get today. No, <laughs> no right. Yeah. The day, right? The not the day right after. <laughs> shit. 
That's why all the candy go half off. No, but I definitely feel because it's crazy because my mom, she's not like a big holiday person. She's mm-hmm. really, she's, I feel like I low-key get it from her because like she's not really a type of person who like goes all out. Even in Nigeria, like we celebrated her birthday and she was like so upset because she was like, why didn't y'all tell me? Like, I don't like to have attention on me and stuff like that. So on Valentine's Day, my dad always buys her all this stuff every year for Valentine's Day. My mom's always just like, okay, she's always kind of mm-hmm. nice about it, whatever, but she's not like too thrilled. So I ask my dad like, She'll be too grateful. Like, you okay? <laughs> right. She don't deserve it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but not that she don't deserve it. I'm just like, what makes you like do it every year? He was like, you know, you know your mom, like she's not really into stuff like that. But the thing is, I know your mom. I know your mom's they friends. Like I never yeah. want her to be in a position where she goes out and she's talking to her friends and she's yeah. hearing what all their her their husbands did for them. Right. And she has no story to share. He's like, right. I don't want to put her in that position. Regardless, like he said, women may there's some things women may say they don't like. Right. But trust when they're in a position they don't have it, that's when mm-hmm. they'll start liking it. Right. And ever yeah. since then, I was like, low key, that's low key a bar. Like it's not yeah. even yeah. so much. It's just like. Even if she doesn't like it, even if you don't like to do it, why mm-hmm. would you want to put your significant other in a position where she's around people whose boyfriends, husbands poured right. into them? She has nothing, what's your husband do for you? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I mean? Then you start having to make an excuse. Oh, I don't like Valentine's Day. And in their head, they're thinking, like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Sure, you don't. Yeah. I feel sure like, you I, feel, I do feel like, I don't know who which one of y'all said that, but I feel like the people... I'm not say everybody, but I feel like for a lot of people who just don't like hate Valentine's mm-hmm. Day and they're in a relationship, it's because your significant other is not doing it for you. <laughs> right. I, honestly, I do. I just I feel like it's just one of those of... things where it's just like you're again, unless it's religious other, related. Yeah, yeah, unless yeah, your significant other just he just doesn't yeah, want to do it. Right. I, 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 I'm sorry, I wouldn't be with somebody who doesn't. As yeah. as somebody you know, who appreciates mm-hmm. to be showered, and I yeah. actually like Valentine's Day. You telling me you don't fuck with, you're not going to give me anything. I'm not going to date you. So I'm going to suffer for the rest of my life because you don't believe in but it. I feel like niggas would do that. Well, any, any holiday, like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't really do Valentine's Day. Christmas is not a thing. And it's just like, why? why? Mm-hmm. And you know what's crazy? Look how Nikki just talked about how excited even the thought of Valentine's right. Day makes her. Imagine her dating somebody who, who says, just, I don't believe in Valentine's Day. And it's like, you don't want to make her feel like that on a day that she feels like is important. What? That almost feels very right. selfish. And not even selfish. Like, that's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is me. To piggyback <laughs> off, like, kind of what your dad said, I really, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, to me, that's, like, an honorable thing to that say. Is, for is. towards the holiday of Valentine's Day because you'll talk to some men and like the reasons they give why they don't do it it's just like dang it's you don't consider your partner you know at, all. at all to me it's like dang your dad is really considering your mom she don't even appreciate the ho- like not saying she don't appreciate the holiday <laughs> she don't care for it but it's like no I still want you to enjoy it though even if you may not like yeah. it some men like, they don't even you have spent that how mindset. much you spent this much it's like well, yeah. some men chill. don't even care to like they don't care that you feel like oh if you didn't get nothing like how you might feel or how it might play out stuff like that I feel I wish a lot of men came they thought about Valentine's Day that way mm-hmm. instead of just being so selfish about it mm-hmm. I don't I, deal with it because even if you don't like of, it it's like yeah, oh you know if your I, partner I want likes it why don't you like it yeah. well, let's talk about why they really don't like it y'all ain't used to being showered it's yourselves. not even that no they don't okay I'll be real with you I feel like some men are, refuse to shower women in ways like that because they've never felt it themselves I'll or be they've never had you. it growing up and I even feel like even when it comes we talked about it before in this podcast before like when it comes to giving children like Valentine's Day gifts like if I have children boy or girl they're getting a Valentine's Day present out of me and I feel like some boys were raised and got nothing and so they look at the holiday like no. I should have to do nothing for somebody else they and don't I think like women how you ooh. <laughs> they don't like women no, girl they but, don't like women but you know what's crazy <laughs> and I, have I mean a, that's one of the they reasons, don't like or respect that, women y'all that, that, that's, that's one the, the answer too. that's the but only answer but I think answer. how people <laughs> raise their children too how they raise little boys girl. to see how view holidays or what it looks like to give to other people plays a role in how they yeah. grow up so but I'm not gonna lie and I mean you whispered it earlier but I do think it very much she did but no I'm not gonna lie because I definitely know somebody who he reached out to me. He was like, hey, you know, I want to do something for my girlfriend. Do you have any ideas of like Valentine's Day gifts? And I was shocked because I was like, what's your budget? Fifteen hundred for somebody who I've never seen celebrate Valentine's Day before. So I'm just like, what changed your mind? He was like, you know, I'm just in a better place financially where I can afford to do things. I'm like, so this whole time when you've been telling people you don't believe in a holiday, it's been a lie. He was like, yeah. he was like, I never really thought about it like that. He said, but if I can afford to do something special for her, he's like, I want to go ahead and do it. And he was like, at the same time, it's a way for him to flex. Mm. You know what I mean? Because like, if that's his girl, he wants her to be able to be like, oh, I did this. We went out tell we did this and that and the other. But in my head, I'm thinking like, dang, this is really crazy because guys will really lie to you and say, I don't believe in Valentine's Day, but it's because they cannot afford to keep up. And not yeah. even just that they can't afford, they just don't want to like spend you. the money because it's so crazy because I had like one like of you. like, one of, um, at the time, my boyfriend's friends, he had like, he had come to me. He was like, you know, like, I know you like Valentine's Day. Like, what's something I should get my girlfriend? 
And I started picking stuff out. Like, and I was actually being very reasonable because for me, <laughs> I want forever roses. But I'm like, you know what? Okay, we can, we can, mm-hmm. we can make something shake. Mm-hmm. And I'm like putting stuff in his cart. And I think his cart was probably like, it, it was less than like 250. And he was just like, ooh. 250? Yeah. And he was tripping? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is a man that like wears designer, does all these different yeah. things. So it's not like he doesn't have the money. Right. But I'm just like, I'm like, it's two fifty. I'm like, he was like, but that's a lot. Like, that's a lot just to be spending on a day. I'm like, but I don't know if y'all understand, like the gesture goes along with ge- like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Negative. Like, do you know what your girlfriend's gonna do for you? Like, right. she's gonna yeah. like treat like, you so well. Like, 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 so real quick. But let's speak towards that. Like, Much there up. are just some people like <laughs> but like what if people just have like a like a price rate? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna like make people feel bad because at least they're still getting a gift just because it's not a it's, certain price tag. No, I'm not saying you know that, but it was, it's who it was. It's who it was. No, it's the thing is to spend that much. I'm saying it's one of those things where it's like I know like he goes out, we go out, he spends that on a bottle. Right. So it's like... But men want to spend their money on what they want to spend it on. But you don't and love me. Yeah. You, don't love, you don't love me because when I love somebody, there's no <laughs> limit. <laughs> you. There's, there's no limit. When I love somebody, there's no there's limit. None. So for you to act like you can't spend 250 yeah. that's crazy as fuck. You, like you way, said, that's a night out in the town with dreams. The so. way you know how a man, how a man fools with you Thanks. and on what level he fools with you on is how much he gonna spend on you. And if yeah, he's gonna really? argue, I don't think the amount. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes the thought counts. It's, Someone, it's what thought counts I'll be real with you. Someone count, complaining yeah. about two fifty, complaining. Oh yeah, he was. Come on now. No, it's, it's, it's definitely complaining. complaining. Yeah, it's complaining to the point where like he went into the car and he <laughs> was like, like, you know you. what? Like I think I'm just gonna and take this thing. out and take this out. And I think you know what I think I had got her. I think I had got her um some roses. Um. I think it came with chocolate and then was like a, your, a real girl's girl. And then was like yeah. a bottle of champagne. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. He took out the champagne, didn't he? I think, I think he like, I think that's he the chocolate too. and the champagne like, you could have shared. That's, that's crazy. Like, literally that's like, so stale. it was like, chocolate, it was like a really shared. cute little, yeah, like, put like together. Together. he yeah. took out the champagne. I don't know what he took out, but it, <laughs> the champagne. <laughs> I think she took out the flowers. But you get what I'm saying that like, I'm not trying to say the price tag to turn, but it's like a man is complaining but about let spending his money, nigga birthday. just let spending money on you. If that's a complaint, he doesn't like you and it's okay. New man will come and he'll shower you well. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. but honestly, I don't even think it's so much about like the monetary value. It's not. It's, it's the reluctance to even just want to spoil your girl. You're you complaining. Like, like, because then like, she do yeah, work. I'm not talking about the price. Like, you're just oh, I didn't and I looked at my her. boyfriend at the time. I said, "Don't you dare." <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you. <laughs> don't, I do. Don't even try. <laughs> Listen properly, because this is not. Yeah, right. close your eyes to this madness. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, like, how do y'all? Okay. Not, I know Joy you're in a relationship so everyone else if, like, if you're talking to someone right now how are y'all navigating Valentine's Day like are there any expectations like what if they don't do anything I think she could still answer that I mean, question I can speak from past I mean because you already said you have plans I'm talking people who are dealing with not uh, what don't, if have we don't have plans yet I mean how is your expectations like I said what if you don't, don't like what if you don't hear like okay um, okay, if you're so dealing if with them and they don't hear from them or they don't even try to like do something nice maybe send you roses crazy. or like yeah. send you roses or like some nice message you know, so, so I do th- have a question mm-hmm. in regards to that let's say you're talking to somebody and y'all don't really know what y'all stand like yeah. do you expect a happy Valentine's that's what I'm saying a text I don't, a text? I, don't. I, don't. I, I don't at the very <laughs> least sure. the very no I'm just, asking, I'm just asking though I'll yeah, be honest with you sure. I don't because if we haven't had like a like yo like we're just friends right now I'm not going to lie my to friends you. text me happy Valentine's Day I mean I get it if you're a ghost on that day my friends text me happy Valentine's Day that's what I said I feel like if you go ghost no, that's, even, ghost, that's just, even weirder yeah. that's weirder that's even weirder no. than to mm-hmm. she's just saying not saying correctly not like, saying I just, happy Valentine's Day I, I, it's not I, I just think it's it's, lie. It's, <laughs> it's like it's just manners I'm not going to lie yeah it's the same thing like Christmas like even if we don't have to be anything it's still wake up and say happy you know Merry Christmas I can't I'm not expecting because I don't want to get my feelings to get hurt you have expectations your feelings can get hurt but if we can't expect Expect someone yeah. to just be. No, let's say your feelings be hurt, and then let them hurt feelings no. move you. And then no. that's not just that. I, I think yeah. your feelings can get I'm hurt even feelings. more hold by on, lowering your standards. I, I'm gonna respond back to you. I don't want my. I don't want to be. I don't want my feelings hurt on Valentine's Day. So, I but you prefer not. it. But I prefer for my feelings to be hurt. No, prefer them to oh. say happy Valentine's. I mean, of course. But if like so, I'm not gonna. But if we're not having had a conversation where we're at, we're just friends in my book. So, it yeah, is but I think okay. I do see where you're coming from. 
But if that's what you want, then yeah. you can have that. But you know what I mean? I, but because, the, it, because the same way he can text on mm-hmm. any other holiday, true. You can, yeah, she, even if we're not, like, we're still navigating, right. I still know it's a holiday. I can still acknowledge it. Like, hey, true. happy Valentine's Day. So even though we're not together, I might not do anything else for you. But I think Just to not is. text me, the happy Valentine's Day and the talking things. stage is right. crazy. I think You're out of here. What are you doing today? No, that's what I'm saying. What? What are you doing today? You're something different. I think his girl. things where it's like. with his main piece. Screaming. I feel like as women, we don't need to lower our standards right. so that our feelings mm-hmm. are not hurt. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. just because you're not expecting it doesn't now mean that you need to say like, "Hey, this is my standard." Yeah. Of mm-hmm. just because we don't know what we are right. doesn't mean I don't I don't deserve that text. Right. I don't. I'm not doing that. Like for me, I don't care if we are a situation ship. Say happy Valentine's Day. You, you say happy Valentine's right. Day. It's just, it's just manners. Again, like, it, should, yeah, it really is right. just manners. Yeah. Like it right. really, I'm not. You, you don't have to buy me flowers. You don't have yeah, to do any of those things. Say it. Just say it. Right. Because yeah. I think the two of y'all know where y'all stand. So exactly. you would know, like, we really shouldn't be doing anything together for Valentine's Day because we're still in that dating stage. Right. So it's like the least we can do is tell each other, have a good day. But the thing is, too, like, what I'm saying is that I'm, my feelings are not going to be hurt. But after that, it's like, I know what's going on here and you're done. So quick question. You know I mean? If he reaches out to you on Valentine's Day. Yeah, and he doesn't. And act- he doesn't say happy Valentine's Day, but he still strikes up a conversation. Would you feel away? We're we're like if you don't acknowledge like, this is my thing okay I'm not expecting anything but y'all I don't want it to come out as if like I'm some like cold hearted person that just like oh my standards are just not there but no what I I'm understand saying, I'm, no I'm just giving clear I'm clarifying first before I give you my answer what I'm saying is that if they reach out to me and they don't even it's it's Valentine's Day we're talking they don't even acknowledge like they don't say nothing about Valentine's Day y'all we're we're not gonna I'm not responding back anymore I'm gonna be honest with you I might even say hey. You know it's Valentine's Day question mark like because to me I rather not hear from you than you talking to me and not acknowledging it. That's weird to me. Mm, that's yeah. a that's a slap in the face to somebody like dang like you really talking to this person on Valentine's Day and you it. can't even yeah. you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I don't want to hear from you because I was in you know? a predicament like that where it's like we were just it was kind of like fresh and we didn't really know but it, he just hit me up and then. I was like, it's right. kind of awkward. You didn't really, you skipped over Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. It's just it like, just we're just having a real conversation. <laughs> like, that's weird. Right. To me, it just was yeah. weird. I'm like, why? Well, you know, I also want to give men the benefit of the doubt. Some men just don't know how to navigate that. Yeah. I'll be honest with yeah. you. Like, no. I think it's one of those things it's, where it's yeah, like, right. like, especially like, because like you said, like, y'all are just like, y'all are not in the know of what your relationship status is. And so I feel like for men, sometimes they don't want to make the situation worse. Mm-hmm. Where or it's deeper like, than what it is. Yeah. Or like, where it's like, okay, I said Happy Valentine's Day, but now maybe if I say that is she now expecting something mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I think that they kind of yeah, I think she, they really do think about no. it kind of yeah. a lot so it's one of those things where it's like oh, let me give them the benefit of the doubt like some men really just don't know right. mm-hmm. but men like if you really like the girl like even if y'all haven't established like what y'all are just say happy Valentine's Day I really yeah. think that she's gonna appreciate that yeah and now of course there's outliers but yeah and please please I was gonna do this. I was oh, gonna do that. Yeah, oh, please. Keep that We love it. Please. Taste of nothing. nothing. <laughs> like, please keep so it to yourself. I hate uh, I was gonna. No, I was thinking. Gonna, like, yeah, I don't yeah, give a or, fuck. That's a little bit of a I was thinking about being a millionaire. The fuck? Or <laughs> I'm gonna giving wanna. every excuse in the book but the item itself. So like, let me ask y'all this. <laughs> okay, so let's say that you're in an established relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's say we're on year two together. So this would be our second Valentine's Day together. Um, and Valentine's Day that the year, previous year was like an extravaganza. Um, so this year around, and let's also say that Valentine's Day is on a weekend. Okay. Like, let's just not say it's on a Wednesday. And it's probably about a week and a half out. At this point, you already have an outfit. Like you already like, you're like, you have a, you have, you're doing like appointment Olympics scheduled around <laughs> valentine's day okay that's what it feel like too yeah <laughs> olympics <laughs> from here to like there to you're there. all like you have it all scheduled out and you just already have your outfit planned and so you at this point he hasn't told you anything he hasn't told you plans and then randomly he's just like yeah um i'm gonna be out of town for valentine's day no you won't mm. doing what no, I must, without I must me, be a big is there is there a cause? No, is yeah. there no without for, without you? Like he just what? Said, what he just the said he's a, is he going for work? Did you say he's gonna be out of town? Mm. Nikki, oh, so you beat my ass out after because <laughs> what's happening going here? To be out of town? No, no not even like <laughs> you're gonna be out of town. You're not gonna okay, get back to nothing. What if no, I'm going with you. What if it's a bro trip? 
No, no, hell no. no. I'm Fuck sorry, y'all that. picked Valentine's Day weekend for y'all can all <laughs> respectfully y'all kiss my ass <laughs> or kiss each other. <laughs> kiss each other that. to me. No, it's no, no, he doesn't no, like he, you. No, he doesn't please. like you. He's going to go he do what he likes. Like, <laughs> actually, no. you friends. asking this question just pissed me no, off. But I, okay, so I do have a question. Guys, <laughs> that. Guys no, I'm telling y'all, that. I've heard this happen. It's crazy. Like, how do y'all he will be single? How do y'all feel about people that go out of town on Valentine's Day when they have relationships or married? May thunder fire. You. Oh, I see that. That is crazy. I see, people, I, see people, you don't, I see people in the club in Miami. I pray for my spe- my my species, man. Pray for us. We go. What it, business cause... trip are you taking over the weekend? And if it's for a business trip, I'm coming along. Yeah. Yeah. Your job pays for y'all travel. You pay for mine. I'll be right there with you. What the fuck we talking Period. about? Period. Mm-mm. I don't even know why we having this conversation. <laughs> no, yes, yes, when to be ready to go to the airport with you? Like, yeah, I don't know. like do you? Yeah. Like, it's sad that this is even a scenario thoughts, because like, y'all, where <laughs> is? <laughs> Where is the respect here? Like, I feel like as a man or if women do this too, you why don't you respect your partner enough to just at least make yourself available for that time, especially mm-hmm. if you're married. Mm-hmm. You're married. This is a time for y'all to pour back into each other, really show show each other what you really can do. And what you're telling me is that you can really let me down mm-hmm. and leave me a whole weekend to go hang out with your homeboys? So I have a question. Did they carry your kids? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Kids, kids are involved. You know saying? Like, <laughs> right? fucking saying, like, did they carry your kids? <laughs> kids be oh. so crazy. I'm really going wild. Wow. <laughs> now you leave me with kids. That's I'm, crazy. You know what's crazy? <laughs> There's gonna, you, know, you gonna be, what's her name? You gonna be like, Heather, showing up at that trip with a black eye confused on what happened. <laughs> Because right. what? Oh my God. Where's Valentine's Day with your home Salt Lake City, Laura. Literally. Literally. What happened to your eye? <laughs> I was going to ask, have y'all ever been in a situation where like you were talking to somebody and this can kind of tie into the holidays and like they just conveniently decided to like an uh, issue comes up or y'all stop talking right oh, yeah. around Girl. the holiday, right yeah. around yeah. the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And then they drive the circle back. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyone that has let themselves go in the last two or three weeks, <laughs> do not find yourself afterwards spinning the block yeah. next month. Yeah, back. Yeah, you're fast. blocked. <laughs> like, no. Tell me you're broke without you telling me you're broke. No, it's, so tell Sunday, me about your twelve fifty nine. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> without telling me, you yeah, have until yeah. Sunday no, twelve fifty nine yeah. to what, get it together. They was pouring into they they real relationship. No, okay. they, they didn't have time for the socks. Right. <laughs> No, but men are cheap. Like cheap they literally will break up the right before a holiday or before a birthday, just because they don't want to spend money. That's so crazy. Starting fights before Christmas, like (laughs) honestly, just be real. We don't have to do this. Moral of the story is that they don't like you (laughs) when they do that. Yeah, anybody cannot like. I had somebody like we stopped talking like around every fucking holiday. Early January ish, right? (sighs) And so, like you know, we went. I went into Valentine's Day like, okay, I'm not talking to anybody. For this man to literally hit me up on February 15th (laughs) at 12 something in the morning. So as soon as it went from 14 to 15, you was in my phone. You are dumb as fuck, and you're done. Hey, hey, (laughs) and the message was hey, hey who? Not even happy (laughs) belated V day. (laughs) Hey who? Hey who? You didn't even text me on. Valentine's Day and then you because again we stopped hey. talking like in January yeah. you gonna text with a hey that's crazy he I'm with my new stuff. nigga so he re-entered the chat on the 15th yeah. that's crazy no. cut the cameras cut the dead ass <laughs> <laughs> not playing no that's just out of line people are weird like me out of people, here, th- people th- like I have respect for myself bro like who did no, you who did you think you're about to spend the block on the very next day not even a couple weeks later the very next day is crazy how do you feel no. about girls hold on how do you feel about girls like a man cancels them right right before their birthday and they just be picking them back up whenever. No, How do y'all feel I'm about sorry. That? And that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's what I was going to say. Holiday. They just be picking them back up like a hand bag. Everything, like, it, it, I feel like and this it, we're too old for this yeah. like it, again we've been in situations where we don't do they're dumb like yeah, I feel like so a man can walk stuff. out before like an important like your birthday important holiday or something and then they try to re- come back no and you pick them up no oh, that's what I'm saying no. we've all done stuff yeah. done no. crazy things before but yeah. now don't yeah. do it girl and you don't know what's crazy I think and maybe because it's been so normalized spending up block and all the other stuff as a woman and I just say it because I know we've all been there it used to make you feel like a little bit like important mm-hmm. like oh he had to spend a block like right. he couldn't get me off my mind no. now, I, now, now, now like, the way it makes me feel like <laughs> don't I feel like so you really think I'm a dumbass yeah, like that, yeah. you, you, you think I don't respect like, myself the disrespect is a lot the disrespect <laughs> like, is too much you, the yes, audacity the you audacity. should be afraid to, to come even back. reach out to me <laughs> No, fa- I don't even know if this message is gonna go through type type of phrase like you thought you could pull that shit and come back so you don't think I don't rape myself girl 
But I feel like no. the men have hit an all-time low because niggas is trying to spin the block around. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like, this <laughs> is tornado. new. This is crazy. This is new behavior, y'all. No, because they want, <laughs> they lonely. Mm. Nobody Should've got thought nobody about to get that. chocolates for. Should've thought about flowers. that. <laughs> no fact. They so, want to snuggle. If you had to choose, so like, let's say that you had a Galentine's planned. Okay. Um, and y'all put a lot of planning into this day. Okay. Like matching outfits, like everything is just like there. Um, and then your situationship, you know, it's getting pretty mm-hmm. serious. Mm-hmm. It's like a, it's like a thing where you don't know what y'all are, but y'all like each other. Mm-hmm. And he was, he comes with it and it's like, Hey, like I have all these plans for us. And it's the day of your Galentine's like same time. He's like, mm-hmm. He's like, I need you to be ready. We have a lot planned. Like, I'm taking up your entire day. Mm. What are you going to do? Are you going to cancel on your girls for the Galentines? Mm. Or are you going to go through with the plan I'm not lie. with your man? Um, Polly, shut the cap. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no. Like, no. no, I, no Polly, you're going to lift this for less. I'm not lift up for anything. <laughs> oh, Polly, like, girl. Polly. Polly. I feel like cut if- the bull. <laughs> Cut it right now. Stop. Put a little cap on that. No, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like unless it's something where it's like, if you know I have this Galentine's, right? Unless it's something where it's like, you know, they only have one time the day. Like if you want to do a candle making class or something, you know, where it's like they, there's only one time or the time can't be adjusted. Because if it's just dinner, why are you taking me out for, which I get it. But it's like, why are you taking me out of my Galentine's Day just for dinner? Yeah. Like, but maybe but you didn't bigger. tell him about Galentine's. He had us all oh, planned. Oh, I didn't tell him. Yeah. Okay, if I didn't tell him, then I'm still going to Galentine's. <laughs> But I feel like the, in the That's scenario, not what I, in oh, the scenario that Nikki gave, he I'm came to her on some. I have a it's whole crazy. day oh, planned, yeah, so was, it's giving you took time initiative. It's one thing if he was like, "Oh, can we go to dinner? Can I maybe fit that around my Galentine's cool?" But if you yeah. come to me on some, I have I'm a whole, whole day. day get yourself together. Whole day. Bag, y'all, pack I'm your bags. <laughs> I would hope come on, that my y'all would have to understand. I'm going to be so happy for me that they'd be like, "I want us all." Why you eating? No, let's be serious. Like, why are you here? Because if it was any of y'all. Y'all came to the gallon and they told I'd be like, why are you here? Yeah. Like I would easily be like, why are you here? I Respectfully. Ah. I said to all the time. I've done that before and it wasn't a Galentine's and I'm not gonna lie I literally was the entire time regretting it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I should have showed up for my thing. friend. Cause it's just weird. I'm not gonna lie. Like, but it's just, and that man not even here. But so it's it, like, but it'd be all that if it's like, it's Galentine's. Like we yeah. it, respectfully, mm-hmm. we go out to eat. We do girly True. things all the time with each other. So it's like if it was this core of group, it'd be different. If it was like a birthday, a graduation, yeah. or a oh. big event. But like it's a gal, we're mm-hmm. gathering to eat and take pictures. <laughs> like, like, it takes me to... back to the situation that we said. We all said that Valentine's Day is a very special day. And if a man knows that, and he's coming to you saying, "I have yeah. a whole day planned for you," and he's trying to show you how he feels about you, and you say, "Uh, nah, I'm gonna kick it with my girls." <laughs> I was like, what? As a man, you're I not a serious kid. woman. You're not a serious woman. Can I tell y'all something? Like, woman. it's so okay. I know I've matured yeah, a lot because serious. I literally would like tell, like when I used to back in the day, I would literally tell men to their face, like, I'm going to be hanging out with my girls so we can't, that's crazy. <laughs> I used to be that person. Like, I would really choose my friends over a man. But I think but that also comes with discernment. If you know a nigga ain't shit, then okay, cool. I'm not kidding. It's not even that just because I like well, hanging not. out with my friends. Then we gonna be here. It also Truly depends like, though. Because why you know? are you my thing is Galentine's Day should be before the fourteenth. Before or after the fourteenth. Valentine's Day Valentine's Day should not be on the day of Valentine's Day. And so if that man is trying to plan something a little bit before, a little bit after, my question is why? Why? So because uh, yeah, because why? Well, like, but the but, after Valentine's Day, you remember, didn't y'all say it was for the side chicks? After but, Valentine's Day, a little bit. Who said not that? Necess- I don't necessarily think that. Because I do. After Valentine's Day, I do kind of think yeah. Valentine's that celebrating on actual Valentine's Day. It's hard. A lot of restaurants put you on a preset menu. They force mm-hmm. you into a three course meal. I can't even pick what I want to eat. So mm-hmm. I do understand. Sometimes celebrating on actual Valentine's Day. You end up coming off of a lot of bread or unnecessary things you don't even want in that day, trying to celebrate on the actual right, day. True. So there's still ways to show appreciation, but I feel like I I'm gonna say, I'm on one of those things where it's like, even if you like were to just send me like flowers on Valentine's Day and then we like went out yeah. Oh, yeah, that true. weekend, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, no, I don't think you're gonna do everything on that weekend. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to do something on the day. Yeah, we're, gonna, yeah, yeah. we're not going to just wait for the weekend to roll around. <laughs> yeah, you wait no. for discounts? What? Yeah, what that's... are we waiting on? No, because you know the flowers is going on sale on the 15th. Mm-hmm. Screaming. And the chocolates. Mm-hmm. And so. the fruits. Mm. Well, 
Wow. Well, we'll see. I mean, y'all tap back in next episode to see how everybody's Valentine's Day went. And then we'll circle back to this. I know. I'm so excited because like, well, by the time that y'all see this episode, we would have already had our Galentine's yeah. as well. So I'm mm-hmm. really excited to like for everyone to see our content. Honestly. That. Excited. Congratulations to the Nigerian Super Eagles and <laughs> fans for yes. winning the app. I hope y'all not biting y'all's tears. Yes, nice. congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl. Ooh. I'm dead. Ooh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan. No. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Chiefs. Yeah. No. Oh. I mean, it's okay. Nigeria stand behind. That's it. <laughs> that's all. That's it. That's <laughs> and, all and, like, and, that's a Nigerian and, thing. I, Nigeria has to stand behind. And in case one. anybody's confused, we are recording this early, so we okay. really won't know the answers to these congrats we're giving until but Valentine's Day. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day when y'all hear it. So if y'all wonder why, why they say congrats, Chiefs? Y'all know why. Uh, because <laughs> they won. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. makes sense. <laughs> nah. Uh-uh. Yes. Go Super Eagles. Go. Go super eight, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, no. All we'll right, see. y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed us being festive. Like I always loved our themed yeah. episodes. They're mm-hmm. always a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on TikTok. And then also the biggest, biggest thing for us is like actually going to our YouTube, subscribing, liking our videos, commenting, engaging with us. Like it's really, really important for us. Um, And that way we can get feedback from y'all. It is your girl, Just Nick, checking out. Bye. Hey guys, since this is Valentine's Day, make sure if you don't have anything to do, take yourself out to eat, go get a movie or something. Go and buy takeout and bring it back home and make you a nice little meal. But enjoy this day. Pour into yourself. And also, I hope you like this episode as well because it'll bring you a lot of comfort. Have a good one. Holla, it's your girl, Macalette. Bye, y'all. Signing out, it's Crystal, a.k.a. Champagne Chris. Bye, guys. It's your girl, Jory, Alia. Bye, y'all. It's Shell. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Give me a P. Give me a E. Give me a T. T. Y. I'm petty all the time.